Why are eating rotten apples? Dirty bass that be coming at you. Roller coasters like a supernova around the ring master. This my tabernacle. See you screaming, I'm like, what for? Oh, you pop more. Yeah, I got popcorn. I don't wake up on the wrong lawn, so we won't stop. It's a lost cause. Take a look through the peephole. Yo, everybody's getting geek, bro. Stop the hate and let them neeks know that we turn the club into a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. Turn the club to a freak show. Pushing my limits and all the drive that I have Well, I'm going the distance with you I didn't know what I had till I knew I was missing on everything that I dread Well, I built a resistance with you Catch me when I fall and I
Never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die, they become a part of you. Every time you bleed, but reaching greatness, relentless, you survive.
All right. Do we have sound? Right. Yes. Do we have yes, we have sound. Okay, right on. Okay. We've got Welcome to the Yacht Club. <laughs> Welcome to the Yacht Club, the <laughs> weekly show where we go over the latest and greatest of Star Citizen, uh, what's happened over the last week. We try to have a drink, have some fun, uh, chat away, and really we, we want to cover the weekly news. That's the main thing that we get through here. But this week we've gone through and actually spent a lot of time putting together some great visuals for you. So as much as you might think that not too much has happened this week, it's actually going to be pretty action-packed. So why don't we start off with what we've been doing this week and uh, more importantly, what we're drinking. Dr. Murray. Um, <laughs> is it generic water or name brand water? Yes. No, it's name water. <laughs> is it Perrier? Premium double filtered water. Ooh. Ooh, double filtered. That. That's pretty yeah. fancy. Yeah, it's fancy, <laughs> fancy. <laughs> What have you been up to this week? Um, I, I'm on a beer diet. Except, <laughs> except, except tonight. <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah, the beer diet. The no beer diet. You guys will, you guys will love this one. <laughs> oh, Carry <good>. on. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and I've not been doing much of anything this week. Lay off the ice. <laughs> Quiet week. I mean, yeah. I've been busy all week, but nothing, nobody wants to hear anything about <laughs> okay then. Not interesting. Yeah. So, what about you, Shadow? Oh, it's the push plug in the usual Macallan Twelve. Beautiful. Sherry That's not actually usual Christmas. because you you have been drinking Manhattans for several I've, weeks. I've been all over. I've been all over. We, uh, we have so, not seen well, Macallan. I, in quite some time. I, I think we should. Yeah, I think that's 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 the way of telling McAllen uh, you're you're not coming up with our sponsorship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, so there, take, step it up. Take you, that, you McAllen. You give us a sponsorship, and I'll get Doc Murray to drink. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> sponsorship, you'll send Doc Murray a couple of bottles. There we go. Yeah, if, if um, we get a McAllen sponsorship and I start getting scotch, then I'll always have a drink. Don't worry about it. We might we might actually have a couple shows a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Gonna, I don't know. They're just sitting there drinking McAllen. <laughs> <laughs> it's all they do. No, they drink whiskey. <laughs> it's all they do. That's they talk about that's when they're going to drink whiskey on their big yachts. And they don't even have yachts. What's wrong with these people? We don't even have yachts. I know. What the hell? <laughs> we have space yachts. Virtual, virtual space yachts. What is a space yeah. yacht? No, it's been an extremely it cost busy millions week of dollars coming up, coming up for yeah. Well, it will in the end. <laughs> coming up on uh, the end of uh, hopefully a nice software launch here in the next Seed. few weeks. So, yeah, so is, is this is this this big thing that you've been working on for the, like the past few months? that has been sucking yes. all all your time. Very very big thing. Yes, very big thing. Cool. It's uh, some help. So yeah, it's uh, it's very exciting. So, how about you, awesome. Jordan? What are you drinking? Uh, I am on a beer diet. That's why that came up earlier as a joke. Because <laughs> uh, so Saturday night we had a great time having the yeah. the the 600 yacht regatta, uh, and I, I had oh, five great. beers. And I normally I I normally don't really drink that much beer. It may appear that I do, but I don't really accept on this show. And the show has been a bad influence on me. <laughs> five beers. They were absolutely delicious beers. And Why do you like, think Shadow and I drink like scotch like, and know, stuff right? that doesn't make yeah. you fat? Yeah, Keeps but I love nice I drink. love good beer. As everyone who watches the show knows, I I am a connoisseur true. of great beer. Maybe you should go more and, natural. Hey, is there pumpkin yeah. scotch? Diet pumpkin whiskey. Come on. Hey, no, that might work. You need whiskey. to work out harder. Yeah. No, I I I can't I can't I can't I, I can't I can't. But, yeah. So um so so I, I woke up Saturday feeling like really really bloated and i don't know if it was like sunday night or monday night i literally had a, a, a nightmare that i could not put on my pants <laughs> like, I, and, and i'm and i'm i'm I, i'm not like a, a, i'm not a, i'm not a big guy you're but like, you're i'm starting to get a little belly here oh and it's like it's like, oh, it's like it, I, I could not it's get like my pants on big. So, so like I, that was it. No beer for me for two weeks, and I, I I've done, done done this many many times. Like I'll I have a few a few too many beers, um, and so we're going on a strict diet. We're cutting out and excess diet. carbs. <laughs> we're, we're 
we got the beard. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I, I have a, a lovely white. This is a, a vino. It's a vino verde from mm-hmm. Portugal, which is it's lightly um, uh, just a little effervescent, and it is very crisp and refreshing. And I absolutely love this wine. So I do like wine as well. I uh, occasionally drink reds, but they they put me to sleep. So I only drink red with steak. Actually, I don't don't drink that here then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I end up yawning enough after a couple after a couple of, couple of hours. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny it's, says screw it's, top. It's, sign of quality. <laughs> yeah. hey, They're all a, going a, screw top a, these a days. Of, a, a lot of them so are expensive. actually going screw top these days. Yeah, yeah it's it's um <laughs> it's it's not actually a sign of a bad uh, of a cheap wine. However, it, it is a very inexpensive wine for some reason. The uh, the Vino Verdes um, it's not a sign of Portugal cheap wine, but it's cheap. Are, <laughs> it's not cheap. It's it's very it's very affordable for a very oh, delicious, boy. delicious wine. <laughs> Anyhow, Stem, what are you drinking Portuguese today? Wine. So, <laughs> I'm I, I'm backing you up a little bit, uh, Jor, and I'm also also doing a, a diet. Bit. So, <laughs> so um, I've been doing off and on like the Banting diet for like the last few months, and I've been off for longer than I should have been. So now I'm on again. So it's been about a week. I'm starting to lose weight again. Pretty happy about it. So I'm going to finish off. Not very uh, banting diet friendly. Uh, the uh, longboat chocolate porter that I had from last week, which I sealed up and s- vacuumed. And then after that, I'm switching to gin and tonics. So uh, yeah. in chat to our, our gin and tonic named uh, guy, say hi, Ooh, gin and right. tonic. There he is. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. And then you I also... Got a gin uh, and tonic person? <laughs> yeah, I also went and got a... Uh, uh, a smart trainer to put oh, on the back of my bike. So I'll be doing some pedaling to try and burn some calories. So I'm pretty excited about that. Brand new fancy bike and software. Yeah. Is everybody or has anybody heard of Zwift? Uh, if you haven't heard of it, check it out. It's this cool, um, uh, it's this cool software where you can do kind of augmented reality biking and you're in these crazy, well, it's not augmented reality because really it's virtual reality. You're in a <laughs> world, uh, you know, going on these fantasy roads, which CIG that, came does, put together. Does it actually work place. with VR? It's, it not, it's not VR. You, VR can't, you can't turn. So you, you can just use it on so your phone on or a tablet or on a computer or on an Apple TV or whatever. You can get onto your big screen mm-hmm. TV and you cycle and you look at the TV and you can see all your stats and you can see the other riders around you and you can actually draft other riders, which is really cool. It's really interactive with other riders and they mm-hmm. have these events uh, that they do. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to do it. It's a so, small subscription, so it's worth yeah. it though. So I, I, I feel terrible. I never actually made the connection between gin and tonic's name and <laughs> gin and tonic the drink. It's like bartender. Genin? Genin? Genin. what a great name. Oh, you know, if, bartender, bartender. you probably bartender. signed in quite late in the show. And so, you know. <laughs> it took me a few to get connection. bartender's name, actually. <laughs> okay, so should we should we dive into the show? We have a lot Let us dive of in. fun we have a lot stuff to go right over. into the show. Because we like graphical stuff to go over. So fun. It's, it's, it's very graphic. Very graphic. <laughs> very graphic. <laughs> Very graphic. <laughs> oh God! No pixels were hurt in the that's making what, of this show. That's that's, Let's hope that's why this is a this is a mature rated show because it's graphic. <laughs> it's, I'm, I, I could say a lot more there. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, in the meantime, before so, he gets these up, we had a awesome yacht regatta. Are we going to talk about that somewhere else? Yes. We yes. Are. No, we're not. Okay. That's later. Oh, we are. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. We're actually we're actually starting all the way last week, the day after our last show, which was Thursday, and what? the uh, in, ah! in, inside Star Citizen. Oh my God! It's a black hole. We're dead. We're dead. It, just relax. Well, we're, we're all dead. <laughs> brought you back to life. He's dead. What? Just I thought breathe. you had this all set up. I told you I hadn't we're, set up the we're, cinema scene yet. We're, oh. we're, we're working on the yeah. new graphics, so bear with yeah, us. Yeah, actually, we are working on the OBS setup, so. Yes. And that's true. It's, it's, it's kind of my fault because we'll I've been so stuff. busy. So you can all blame me. And I will say, drink. 
<laughs> Kenan Tonic says to 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 warn warn them before we become we become booby streamers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait <Yeah>. a minute. <laughs> we could do that. that I mean, uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> So setting up the new scene, we have a lot of graphics, but we haven't actually turned on the projector yet. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> Somebody somewhere run in, up to in, the, the casting room and bang on it. <laughs> some, somewhere in Stim's ma massive computer setup there. I'm seeing I'm seeing like popcorn being thrown at the screen right now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a <laughs> we have a very patient crew because they all have they all have drinks, so we're all just having a drink. Being patient with, should've, with, should've with our man's staff. <laughs> what are we waiting for right now? Uh, we're getting the graphics set up because there's the a bunch graphics. of graphics. Oh, oh okay. and it was wasn't quite set up properly before the show. Oh, this, what, this, what was this, the whole thirty minutes this, this, before the show? Then what were we? Doing? I know. Hey, yeah. look at there's getting, there's getting a, a picture. Of, I think I think ready. you're practicing your whining. I think that's what you're getting ready for. <laughs> oh, <snap. laughs> I don't need any practice. Practice your whining and burning of the of the music selection, which honestly, like the music selection, it wasn't good. Okay? I grabbed it actually, digital it rights management free and royalty free stuff and put it on, <laughs> and it was a lot of whining. It's a little whining. It was better than the previous DRM free music that 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 we had. So this yeah. it was an improvement. There it was an go. improvement. It's getting better. All right, here's the 300 the series rework, guys. 300 series. Which one is that? Is that the 315? 325? 325 is red? 325 is red, yeah. That's yeah. the 315. It's reddish-orange now. It's like the uh, Reddit upvote. Reddish-orange? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I think they look <laughs> absolutely stunning. Uh, so the original 350R commercial is what actually got me super hyped about Star Citizen. Like... That yeah, commercial it did really good. Was my was my favorite, and that was my first ship to actually buy af after my starter ship was the three fifty. The three fifty wasn't that the first racing ship too? Yeah, no. uh, I don't think it was the first racing ship. Was it before no, 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 the M fifty? But it but it was it was out that before was. the M fifty. So yeah, I guess it was the first racing ship because was, at the yeah. time, that's, it, yeah. the three hundred series was one of the original concept ships from the very very yeah, beginning. I can't remember yeah. if the Mustang Gamma yeah. came out before it or not. Uh, that's a good. Call. That's no, it was question. it was that was after. I think the Mustang. Yeah, was the Mustang? I, bought, I bought a Mustang. Mustangs yeah. were like 2015, right? Like they were like yeah, 325. 2015. I bought first. Yeah. Were they? Uh, okay. Yeah, no, right. I I know I had them before, but I don't remember them being in before 2.0. So, Maybe they so were in before 2.0. So it seems like there's a bunch of black assets that are the pre-colored. Is that is that what it seems like to you guys that way? Because. So. Because what I'm thinking is you can't put a pink seat in a mauve colored dash, you know what I mean? Which is I, good because that would we, drive well, me Well, we won't really we're know. Not, we're, we're not sure. And actually, I think the seats are going to be an individual item. The the color, the interior and exterior color schemes are going to be a, separate items. And your actual flying yoke is is a separate, probably a separate item as well. Jumping. Don't look, don't look behind the curtain. Like, don't look behind the curtain. But uh, honestly, I, I love the look of the new 300 series. I mean, the, the, the cargo lift is awesome. Yeah. I mean, just the, the whole. It's a little weird. Design. It's like three pieces now, though. Really. It's it's two pieces. So there's one large one and oh, one small two? one. Oh, so okay. the 315, like uh, we think, has 12 SCU of cargo. The um, 12. 300. Um, yeah, somebody said it has 12. It has more than the 300. The 300 is supposed to have eight and then 12 um, and then only four, I think, in the 325 and 350R. So the 325 has missiles in the in the front section. OK, so you only have the small rear. So so that so this this is the, the, the gif I made for all the interior colors. So we can really kind of zoom in on what's changing. So you've got a lot of accents. Oh, we're back in the, the B-roll. Well, this is, yes, yeah, so that was still the B-roll. So this is the gift okay, for... Right, so. <laughs> yeah. So, so there, there's there's a lot of different things that are changing. So if you look in the very background, you, you see the, the trim around the bed changing. You see the bed color Everything, changing. Yeah. You, you see yeah. a lot of the, the other trims. Well, you along see a lot the of the trim, actual trim changing too, which is interesting. Yeah. Like yeah, it's actually so, changing the, the type. 
we're, 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 we're not that, sure. The is changing. The, the yes. Steering the is actual changing. steering wheel is changing. Hey, hey Delmars. Delmars. Good to see you. Woo. Uh, oh, thanks, Delmars. Really fun uh, yacht clubbers that came out for the um, the regatta. We should, <laughs> we should probably say <laughs> yes. These these giffies are gonna give me like ADHD real quick. So <laughs> I, I guess we can go back to this one and, and pause it. So uh, <laughs> for those that are, I know gifts can't give you ADHD, but it's epilepsy. That's the one. So <laughs> epilepsy. Um, yes, epilepsy. Uh, that, so for those that are donating, yeah, just, right? just so you're aware, if you donate, all the money's going to go back to the community. So that's great. Yep. And I'll, I'll stop saying that. So I think we say that every uh, show. No, because well, we because we because we need to say it every show because not 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 everybody's here every show. And yeah, so that it's true. it's it's important for everybody to know that you know we 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 started the show as high level long time backers that we just want to have a good time talking about the project and the news and things going on from our perspective to have a more positive view of things that are going on as yeah. opposed to a lot of the other the other <laughs> content creators out there they're a little bit salty about things a little impatient a little you know they're they're you know. <laughs> A little different view, and so Salt? none of us In the community? are. Yep. No. So all the donations and tips and subscriptions and everything goes back to giveaways for our subscribers because we love you guys and gals. Because without yeah. y'all, we'd just be sitting around together drinking beer we'd and, just talking be sitting about around and talking about spaceships, <laughs> and, and it would be sad. And we don't want that. It would be, it'd be, it'd be sad. Weird. So, so having a look at this picture, I I took a, a few side by sides and and uh, stacked them uh, together so nice. you could see how. Uh, well things are done. changing. Like the bed colors are changing. The, obviously, the seats are changing, uh, but also the seat color. And if you have a look at, uh, well, you can't see it on the screen, but here, changes too. this seat yeah. is, oh, yeah, is yeah. brown yeah. here. Where if you go to the very top, yeah. it's, no, it's it's uh, black well, it, with red and, and, look, and, and white. Look at the whole shape. The whole shape oh, yeah. changes yeah, the, too. The middle, yeah, the, the whole yeah, shape. The whole it's a totally seats, new asset. Different. Yeah. Well, it's a base, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, because that one is origin on the other one doesn't. No, there's going to be a ton but not of, just I'm that, just but curious. Just look at how the, the wing shapes, the difference. pillow shapes. Within each one, I'm wondering what those are. Yeah. Yeah, and you should be yeah, able be to, fun to know, have, just, have two or three pers- different color choices. types. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like maybe a main <laughs> color and a trim color and then a logo color, something like that. And then if you have a look at the yoke on the steering wheel as well, on the steering mechanism, oh, yeah. you've got different mm-hmm. colors there. A- and I was just so, gonna say a Sparco branded one, Citizen Lou. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Sparco steering wheel, Sparco. <laughs> hey, hey Saren, thanks for the stuff. Hey, Saren. Even though you steal our ships. And, and then that was not Saren. That was Evade. <laughs> okay, know, and, and then look at the <laughs> look at this Maybe. pattern down here too. This is carbon fiber down mm-hmm. in the bottom corner. At least, it's, so it's a different mm-hmm. pattern, not just a trim color. So you yeah, also but, have but it, patterns. This really looks like a totally different material, though, and that's one of the things that yeah. we're we're out, we we've got on the um, the the Q and A. Uh, one of our guys, Phil Scalator, uh, posted a question. It's like, can we actually change this for totally different materials, like leather yep. or wood? Because um, right now it's all it's they're fairly glossy, shiny colors. But what if somebody wanted wood? What if you wanted w- different wood textures there, or yep. leather, yep. which would really be awesome. And there's carbon fiber again so, there. Yeah. So I, actually, okay, I'm so going to see this. Yeah, this was the one I really like. Now, this was not right from this week. This was. I know it's not um, from this week, but from, I mean, I like this from when ages I saw ago it originally. when they were doing yeah, the this, outside yeah. variations. This was 2017, I think. So this is when they first talked about the the, co- the color customization. So this is 2016. Been, was it? It might have it been was yeah, pretty 2016. early. It's yeah, been a the very, yeah. yeah, it's been a very long time. Um, and so they've been talking about bringing this in. So it's uh, really awesome that we're finally actually getting this. But they've been designing ships for this right. uh, for for a very long time. Yeah, right. For 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 many years. So what it looks like is that there's like a primary, secondary, and tertiary color area. So you can have two, maybe three different colors uh, to to choose from uh, with preset textures. So. That's going to be one of the questions that I've got in the future is, are there going to be 
uh, different skins that we can purchase that have different patterns. Because this is something that they sell in uh, MechWarrior Online, I, which I played really hardcore for about three years, is that and you, could, you could have a pretty good selection of colors, but then there are some colors that you'd have to pay for with kind of in-game currency. Um, or you could buy special patterns. And all of my mechs, I had to have a tiger stripe pattern. Hey, 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 thank you for the bits there. Um, so th that's what I'm hoping hey. that we get at some point is Drinks to be able one. to buy custom <laughs> Yeah. Patterns. Drink with the Rather bits. Drink. Thank you, sir. You interrupted Joran, but it's still it's worth it. because it's That all is good. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. I pre appreciate the bits, hey, man. You're welcome. Mm. But, nice one yeah, so like 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 there's there's the advocacy there's the um the comet skin and they're still they're still changing within those so yeah really how we're we gonna change if we're gonna get colors logos. of those skins you know like have the base skin but then be able to trim out some mm -hmm. of the color that'd be really cool yeah yeah oh definitely but awesome. will we get logos <laughs> we'll be able to put like pinups on our ships you know That's yeah um yeah de decals know. decals is what folks were, were yeah. asking about <laughs> oh yeah, decals would be wicked. And decals, as long as long as, as, long yeah, as people decals. can't customize them themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. components, pixel cocks, and the yes, ship components. These were cool. It, it was really funny because you're seeing this up close part, and then, well, it, this and then is they, they back away. So, sub components, yeah. right? So, yeah. so yeah, the, right. they've been they've been talking oh, about this for a, for a, a long time. No, the ship components are the. The, the larger the, the the bigger things that you see here so those are coolers power plants shield generators um i think all, they're all all, power all the other plants. yeah i think um, they're all power yeah, and, plants and, and, in the video but yeah yeah and in this particular one but in in general all the right. all the major components are <laughs> going to have their own subcomponents and right. the, and those are going to um modify the behavior and performance of each of those uh, uh primary components so and this is going to give people a lot of the ability a lot of future ability to kind of tweak and and tune up their their, their ships in <laughs> in a lot of different ways just by putting in uh overclocked so, components so as well yeah. Or, and Tina, uh, I yeah. posted that that three hundred uh, question that we've got on the um, on the 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 Q and A in in the chat there, the three hundred series customization question about will we be able to change the materials as well as the colors? So anybody who could hmm. upvote that would be fantastic. Upvote, 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 upvote. <laughs> but that's a lot. That's a lot of components, and so they're they're showing the new and um and worn out state so so this is also how our our ship components are going to wear out over over time so at, as the as they're used and and pushed to the limits or overclocked or things things like that then these sub components hey, will actually hey, burn mystic, out mystic, oh thank, thanks mystic thanks for the tip yeah thanks mystic and so so, so whoever's playing the... scotty in your ship these are them here, Joran. So you've got on the left-hand side of each of each pair, you've got the uh, the full state uh, one. On the right-hand side, you've got what's considered the destroyed or totally worn out, broken mm -hmm. version. Mine will be like a pile of soot. It'll <laughs> 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 explode. I'm pretty Push sure you can overclock it to time. eleven. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're supposed to be able to use the Endeavor for. Mm -hmm. What I what I really mm -hmm. liked. What I really liked about That's this right, is, overclocking. is you've got yeah. um, you've got the, like a symbol behind to make it really easy for for people to know. Okay, well, this is where a particular component goes that matches that symbol. Don't stick a weapon in here. Th that's a brand logo. <laughs> that bolt. Yeah, it's yeah, a brand. Is it? Oh yeah, because yeah. it's, it's called power. lightning power. Oh yeah, I can see that. Oh, okay. that's right. That's right. That's what, that's what happens when you assume, I guess. Sorry yeah. to make an ass well, out can, of it. You can always, hey, Stu, you can we all, always we all stick a, a grenade in there. Go right ahead, buddy. But, <laughs> and, and, and then what do you think about this mechanism <laughs> where it brings the component out? I mean, I, I think because of I the, think it's uh, a, I think it's a bit overcomplicated, but yeah. it's really cool. <laughs> well, I think for animations, they yeah. want to get it clear of the, the components. You know, well, if you think about it, component. it has to like plug yeah. into something. So I get that. You know, because yeah. like when you have the thing open, yeah. that's when the components are supposed to change it. So it makes sense. A lot of people were saying that it was ki kind of a necessary complexity that that you know it, it's it's cool and nice to have all these extra things that move around and all that sort of stuff, but you know uh, the amount of time and develop development effort that goes into all these extra things, like we we appreciate it, but 
and how many more components could they turn out if they didn't have to animate all these little things that, that move around inside of there? Sure, so, but, you know, but I, I'm 99% sure from, this, this is an animation solution yeah. because you can't have people reaching into and behind panels. You have to have stuff brought out so that uh, you're not clipping through things. Could, could be true. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, or it could be yeah. keeping people from sitting there and quickly swapping things out while in flight. Yeah, yeah, that, that could be you Whoa! Dad Lando. Dad Lando, 50 bucks, my goodness. Oh my God, Dad Lando. Wow. Thank, thanks, Commodore. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Wow. Cheers. <laughs> I think I think that's it. Yeah, I, I think it's it's keeping for people swapping things out and, and out and you know like Sinera, Sinera, he be over there like swapping on max damage while he goes in for a run, and then he swap out a bunch of shield stuff while he's on the run. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are well, getting dangerously well, close to our uh, <laughs> Defender Defender giveaway. Oh yeah, we are. Oh Ooh. yeah. Oh and that's then, oh that's right. Who can do math? <laughs> well, so somebody is mathing. <laughs> So the way the way that the the tipping and the donations work, donations go a hundred percent to us, which we give a hundred percent back to you. Tipping fifty percent of it gets taken by Twitch, so we can't take like of that fifty bucks the dead Lando that you gave us. We can only use twenty five percent of it towards ships back for the community. The rest is taken by Twitch. So we recommend using the donate link down in the panels below the below the show. Oh, that. So we recommend doing that. That's the first thing. But secondly, we'll go and we'll look at our accounting. I think we've had, uh, we might mm. even be at it now, but uh, Shadow, if you can take a look. Check. Yeah, find out because we can give yeah. away. So check the magic number. Yeah, we're going to give away a Banu <laughs> Defender, which is going to be and coming out next, tonight, right? next patch maybe. Sure. We yeah, we can give it away tonight. Well, if, give it away to those that are donating. It. <clears throat> yeah. As an original concept, it. LTI Defender too. Ooh, yep. yep. That's pretty fancy. And yeah. uh, one of the people that won a game glass key from Saturday's show uh, decided that they wanted to give it back uh, and pass it on to the community as well. Um, it worked out that they had one and they, they couldn't find a good home for it. So we said, give it back and we'll, we'll get it out to the community again. So, so <laughs> <laughs> well, we want people that really want to use it. And, you know, oh, uh, yeah. And so that that's great. So thanks for passing that one back, and we'll make sure that, that goes. Yeah, go. <laughs> that <laughs> <Lou Fender. laughs> nice one, <Fender. laughs> thanks, Lou. Okay, so uh, getting back to the show here, what I really oh, so liked anyway, about so this, about yes. what I really liked about this image is that um, they are they look like mixed and matched brands of the components. Mm. I could well, yeah, be wrong, you should definitely be able to do that. But yep. they look like yeah. different styles. But it's cool to see that, right? So the one on the left says Art Corp. It has the Art Corp logo. Uh, the one on the right is not. And it's yellow. So. Hey, Drex! Hey, Drex! <laughs> sure, well, they really want to give this sucker away, don't they? <laughs> Thanks, Drex. Wow. Well, we've hit see, that. Somebody, yeah. somebody fly a vendor. I think we're over, it. <laughs> think we're over, over it. it. Whatever we don't have. How about that? Well, when we get... So... Uh, what we'll do is towards the end of the show, uh, we'll give it away. There we go. Yep, towards the end of the show. So yeah. folks need to stick around, and then we'll have a raffle mm. towards the end of the show. Give it away now so they can leave. <laughs> <laughs> We've looked at that already. Okay, so now oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on to the plants right. section, which I thought was really fun. <laughs> oh, the plants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, these these oh, were cool. Boy. Yeah, so... Uh, so these are the plants of microtech yeah okay let's do the b-roll one actually you know that's the one i deleted was the b-roll one. <laughs> oh, that's all right we've 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 got the, we've got the still images yeah so uh effectively uh, um in inside star citizen one of the things they went over was the plants of microtech and one thing to show you is what microtech is this is one of the concept arts that we have for Microtech, and you can see that there are these biodomes yeah. of where the plants are going to be. And so we finally got a look I, at some of those plants. I, I, I think Microtech is just beautiful. I, I, I'm going to love it there. And it's cold, cold which I'm going to love. Good, which yes. Yes, you know you love. <laughs> it, it's, it's turning into a one, one hot-ass summer already all over the place. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Enough but, tornadoes for everyone, I think, too. You need to but, come up here to Vancouver. <laughs> Spectre's not here, but he said it, uh, north of Calgary, it was like in the 90s. North of Calgary. 
It's crazy. Yeah, you know, it, it, it can get really sunny up there and uh you can get and bugs, hot. massive bugs. Dang. Ninety seven. They get crazy, yeah. Whew. Bugs I, bugs I feel lucky. that, that the moose the, <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. That the moose fight so, are huge. Mystic Mystic's in Orlando. Yeah, and Ooh. it's like holy crap, ninety seven is Ooh, ninety seven Orlando. That's, that's gotta be and, horrific. <laughs> hope it was hot today. It was like seventy nine. Hey, Zylo still here? How hot was it in the? You suck. Down there, it was probably. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I was gonna say it was probably horrific down there. Yeah, so, it's gonna be a hot summer. So anyhow, so this is anyhow, the carbon yes. fiber. Uh, so we need bio. They were showing. So one of the things they're doing, they've been genetically yes. engineering the different plants, and so. With this genetical modif genetical, oh my gosh, the genetic oh, modifications genetic. that they're doing, the GMOs, <laughs> genetic, uh, right? The layout of the <laughs> how much not drinking? How much gin and tonic has, has that been? <laughs> right, not enough, not enough. Genetic. Uh, so they have carbon genetic. fiber. They also have put in what they call fractal patterns <clears> into <throat> some of the leaves, which are kind of neat. Uh, what do you guys think about those? The different patterns. Leaves are supposed to be. I think it's cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I just in a unique I, way. I feel like there's a lot more they could be working on. Other than this. No, <laughs> yeah. I, just, no. Yeah. No. Like no. Plant plants are one of the biggest things that we need in the verse. We need a planet with tons of plants, and you know, much more biodiversity. I'm mean, yeah. seriously looking forward to lots and lots of plants. And they probably I don't have that, a man. massive team doing things like plants, right? You know, they probably have a lot true, more people true, on true. ships and other things. So yeah, but yeah, they, they, they look, point. they look really good though. Yeah. And then, yeah. Like Mr. Equilibrium said that a lot of people are looking forward to like a rainforest planet, like really oh, yeah. super heavy, super heavy forests be absolutely amazing. That'd be where I'd live. Yeah. Yeah, totally, totally agreed. So here they talk about laser cutting, and you can see that they've uh, cut. Yeah, like, what were they talking about there? Like, 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 uh, like they act like humans actually go along and laser cut these leaves. Is I, that it? They're yeah. auto, some kind of automated process. Yeah, I, I totally didn't get that. Like, is that just a okay, decorative? I'm not the only one then. Situation. No, think, yeah, it's decorative. Think of um, like capital city in the Hunger Games, right? And how flamboyant and crazy those people are. And you know they show off their pets with coats and all that kind of stuff. And they will have people do that laser now. Laser cut plants. Why not? <laughs> people do that now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, no, that's yeah. do that pets, now. pets with coats. That's yeah. That's pretty normal. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Hate those, I hate those people <laughs> with a passion. They're like people but, that drink pumpkin beer. Oh, you know, I'm sad. expecting one day to, to fully find Joran will have love and hate, you know, like like tattooed on his face. Yes. And you'll say like love people with hate. pets. It's like hate. <laughs> hate. <laughs> love. Great screenshots. People love. Hey, I, like, I, I'm super passionate about things and, you know, it's like love things and I hate some things. Like those freaking little dogs that bark and they wear coats <laughs> <laughs> they're like rats <laughs> they are i think this lack of beer thing is really starting to affect him i think he's threatened by <laughs> these things <laughs> yeah all right so then the next thing they showed us was uh plants that had multiple roots to make them stronger and be able to uh, sustain more weight and what have you uh, and I thought that was pretty cool because it reminded me of mangroves and we might see these really cool mm -hmm. uh, rivers and deltas with mangroves and stuff like that. Oh, Dr. Drones! Hey, Dr. Drones! Thanks for the rain, man! Welcome, everybody. So if you're just joining us... We're on about plants. Don't mind us. <laughs> yeah, we're going over the weekly news and we're talking about the plants of Microtech right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is this is the Yacht Club where we drink and we talk about Star Citizen. And, and plants. even if it's just plants. <laughs> right now it's plants. Moving right along to the next plant. Moving right along. Next so the next plant. one is the Van Duel plant. The Van Duel plant. The plant that will hit you back. <laughs> hey, and thanks for summoning, Dr. Drones. You are the man. Thanks, Drones. <laughs> wow, chat is blowing up. You guys raid in style. Ooh. Nicely done. <laughs> 
Well done. <laughs> plan, so you guys aren't got some kind of smoke. Yeah, uh, it's a Van Duel plan. I'm not sure you want to smoke that. It might, can you eat, tell it might me, bite back. <laughs> can you tell me one property about the Van Duel plant that was mentioned that we see on Earth but is pretty rare? It attacks humans. Almost. Close. Um, I thought that would be neat, though. <laughs> I, 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 uh, uh, it might. We'll see I it a bit. A, <laughs> I was only half <laughs> listening to plants. Oh, boy. oh here we go. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, it's carnivorous. Like a Venus. There we go. Track. Yeah, it's carnivorous. Uh, it's but, but, but I mean, the point yeah, was is like that it. I would like to see it. Well, if you stick your finger in a Venus flytrap, it will bite you. Yeah, actually, so you, you trigger it its mechanism. But, so why it might eat humans is they they put a human into the scene. You can see that down at the bottom, and this, yeah, all yeah, of a sudden that these was plants, surprising. That I mean, what was that movie? <laughs> it was like mind blowing. It was like going from these. Yeah. What the, I, I was so bored looking at these tiny little plants. I'm like, that's great fidelity. It's really it's fantastic. It's, yeah, that they're can be working great looking. Plants. All of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden they're huge. Like, well, holy shit, they're they're like prehistoric, primordial giant plants. Yes, yeah. little shop of horrors. Doctor Jones got it. That was the movie yeah. I was looking for. <laughs> I just said Seymour a few minutes ago. Oh yeah, yes. I couldn't remember the name of the movie. Oh, I couldn't well, either. Anyway, or I remember play. songs from the or movie. The so <clears throat> I've seen it too many times. You should sing one for us. <laughs> You should sing one. Come on, Doc. No. no. <laughs> so, a bunch of followers. We don't want to lose them. <laughs> can you see on the very right hand side of the image? Can you see the stalk of a palm tree? And can you see the size of that? That's right. That guy. Well, you yeah. know, everything those was palm huge trees massive. must be massive. If well, that guy palm trees are pretty is, big. That small. What? No, these no, these are like super massive palm trees. Have like you ever sky, been to like sc skyscraper sized. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, okay. Well, it's they're massive. massive size, but they're absolutely big. massive. But they're I don't, I like don't think they're that big. I could so do some for, of those. For those uh, that came from Doctor Drones, uh, his channel. This is Microtech, an image that did not get shown this week, but one that we've seen before, and you can see the domes yes. that they have. And where these plants will be growing, so so these could be huge domes with these gigantic plants underneath them in in yeah. this ice and oh. snow area. And do we want to mention we're giving away a brand new defender? Ah, oh, yeah. yes, at the end of the show. A yes, defender. at the yeah, end of the show, we we have collected enough donations so that we are giving <coughs> a brand new a, new a, guys a rock a concept LTI brand new defender. No, it's not concept. It's not original concept. It's a CC. Oh, wasn't it? But it's LTI. Oh, no. No, I've got... But it's I've, oh, you've got, got lots one? Of, yeah, I've got lots of oh. original concept ones. Nice. Dr. Murray has lots yeah. of everything. All right. <laughs> I had one, but I think I burned it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, very nice. Nice. We, don't, we don't need a CCO. Excellent. Much better OC. Microtech so, concept art. Come on, let's so go on this one. This so, is a nice one. So since we're, to, we're, we're talking about Microtech, so a lot of people aren't completely familiar with the Microtech the Planet. So th this was some concept work that we saw early, uh, last year where they're working on these deciduous forests. So um, we all thought that Microtech was going to be this snow and ice planet like Hoth, but apparently right. there's there's some other biomes there. And this Quite one was just biomes, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. I, I, yeah. I want to have a cabin in this forest overlooking a lake woods. on a mountain. I'm going to park my yacht and that's, where we're going to hang out. I guess I don't need a cabin if I have my yacht there because it's bigger, but <laughs> that's the whole idea. Yacht. I need a rest. I need a rustic yacht. So I need like a, a log cabin, a, cabin, a, a log yacht. yacht. <laughs> He's going to have a wooden yacht. <laughs> Fat Lou's going to have a log <laughs> yacht. Oh, I'll, 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 build, I'll build a replica log yacht. Yeah, that's that's right up Fat Lou's alley. The origin point five zero. <laughs> the next thing I want to see here is uh, like fallen over trees, nursing trees, um, just some ground cover stuff rather than just little bits. Well, of yeah. The well, th this this yeah. this was shrubs. Well, this was over a year ago, so this is early work in progress stuff that they're working on for Microtech. Yeah, it's really so, nice, though. It, well, it's just cool uh, to see I'm a different, super totally excited. new, different bio, biome that we've never seen. And then and it's, I also want to see convincing <laughs> as, as so, trees so, so, start growing really close together. I want to see how the, the the bottom of the trees, the branches fall off to create interact. that canopy. So as you get mm -hmm. density of trees, 
you get um, oh, yeah. efficiency <laughs> in the uh, in the, the the bio density of the tree canopy. That'll be really cool. That would be so awesome. Well, that, that, that's like up in your neck of the woods up there at, uh, in Vancouver, Whistler, where yeah. you, you, you've got the, you've got these evergreens. They grow so close close together. And I, we we were we were up there, and um, so so eight of us from the Jump Club were in Whistler uh, in March, April, March. Uh, we had a terrible yeah. time. February, February, March. It was uh, horrible. Absolutely horrible. <laughs> yeah, it's the horrible Axe throwing. time. Uh, no fun. Um, but skiing. Hi- 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 <laughs> hiking, skiing, <laughs> hiking through the woods, drinking beer, drinking. Um, hanging out with nerds. Yeah, it was still, still really fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was rough yeah. For you you getting sick was not good, but not yeah, <laughs> but I. I since I'm in Florida, which is just a really shitty place in general, we don't have any trees in South, in <laughs> South Florida. Really uh, it's like it was it, it was great to experience those that that deciduous <clears throat> forest like like this with the real dense trees and and especially like if they get this and where there's snow on the trees, and that's just uh, just like heaven to me, absolute heaven. <laughs> mm. So we have yes. another gift as well. So this Which, is what most people expect Microtech yes! to look like. Yeah. That's what I want. Snow. Which Give also snow. looks super cool. A lot of people forget about this. And it's It'd be really wicked if, it, if, we, if we could like ski. There's like oh, some, yeah. some... Oh, oh, that's the next concept. Ship. We, it's not really a ship, though. Yeah. We, need, for, we need concept skis. Concept skis. Hey, Nick Charles! Thanks, Nick Charles! Oh, thanks, thanks Nick. Nick. Man, the cup's getting full over there. We're gonna have to Yeah, we're gonna have to figure <laughs> out the next thing to uh to give it away. We'll work well, on it. We go. Plenty yeah. of stuff. So, so lastly, Mystery. what is what is Microtech just, best known for? You see that? Yes. Mr. Mr. Making Moby Glass. Yes. Oh yes. What what are you pointing at there, Shadow? I was saying uh Titan suit will come as skis, is what Mr. Equilibrium said. Yeah, I was I was just looking at that. Confirmed. Yeah. Confirmed. That's great. <laughs> On the yeah, so, confirmed. So, 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 <laughs> so Microtech the Planet is owned by Microtech the company, and mm-hmm. they're known for making the Moby Glass uh, is yeah. their primary export to the entire universe. Yeah. Well, so Galaxy. How did that uh, become? Oh, well, okay, here's a great Arbors. question. Is Moby Glass the only one? Uh, as far as we know, mm-hmm. they're the only people making the Moby Glass. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They make different, hey, they make Sam, different styles of Moby Glass. glass in there. <laughs> There, I was just I was just thinking maybe we should give away that game glass key. It's a really good time. <laughs> and that's it a great segue. Kind of, it's a really in, good in segue. Competitive, I mean, but let's, I think let's, let's everybody's have a, got them. Let's have a raffle for a game glass because we we got all these nice we got all these raiders. Let, do let's it. let's let's do a raffle for the next ten game minutes and, and on the hour we'll give away a game glass. How about okay, that? Okay, so, so what is the T. command to enter into the raffle? And T, are we ready for yeah. it? Mr. T, nice, sir. We'll answer that for you. Ship me. There it is. Everyone, so ship, ship me up for me. Game glass Bang, ship, ship me for game glass. You don't so, have one. <laughs> so, a lot of people who have, might have joined our stream recently, Stem, why don't you tell them what game glass is all about? <laughs> all right. So, I'm glad you asked, Joran. <laughs> <laughs> so game glass if you haven't heard about it there's a whole joke here saying, I'm sure. if you haven't heard about game glass it's a it's a multi-function display technology which takes the mfds out of the game and puts them right in front of you on your desk so what it is is think of companion screens <laughs> for the game so you can use uh, your computer with a touch screen <clears throat> an ipad or any kind of tablet uh, or your or your mobile, and uh, you install a little bit of software on your host computer, which is running your game, and then you go to just a web page and sign in on your uh, devices, your touchscreen device, and it acts as a multifunction display. So in Star Citizen, when you're zooming in and looking at the different MFDs, as they call them, for looking at your items, for changing your power, for adjusting shields, um, uh, for and and for so anything sort of ship related as well as things that are not ship related, like deciding to do an emote, you could just look down at a tablet and hit, you know, uh, the, the rude emote, you know, and do the finger sort of thing. Um, <laughs> I picked that one. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I went I there. Or I you can do the bow, <laughs> you know, or you can do whatever. So, um, so Game Blast but gives I, you the ability to do both in-game stuff. Or it's, it's, it's all about doing in-game stuff, <laughs> but with a really nice uh, tactile sort of haptic and visual feedback and good reporting, it allows you to do both the in-ship commands as well as when you're walking around and doing emotes and that kind of thing. So I'm not explaining it very well, but uh, yeah. it's a great... But, um, but 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 it's it, great, it's 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 especially software. good for like your actual MFDs for like power controls. So like your shields yeah. and power, putting routing power to shields, your your coolers or or what have you. So it's going to replicate your MFDs on a tablet, um, and 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 it's an ongoing service. So they're they're updating it every every patch. And it's and it's it's a it's a relatively new um, community driven um, development. And they they actually kind of did it. Was it a Kickstarter? Or is just kind of a community driven? They did a Kickstarter. Uh, it was funding, yeah, funding Indiegogo. Thing? Yeah. Was it Indiegogo? Yeah. They did and something. They, and and they they blew they blew past their their goal, didn't they? Yeah, I think they made their goal. <laughs> yeah, they made their goal think, and then some. They did really well. Yeah, yeah, I think they did really well. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't follow it. Yeah, I know they they did really well, and uh, they had a bunch of stretch goals as well. So originally they started off just doing uh, you know two or three what they call shards, and then they decided to add fragments. So uh, shards are for tablets and things that are bigger than that. Fragments are for um, uh, phones, right? So depending upon the device you're using, the user interface on each size would make a difference. And so for a phone, you have lighter, easier interactions that aren't as uh, deep and uh, information intensive is something you'd have on a on a tablet, a larger tablet. So um, they went through stretch goals in terms of different um, shards. So uh, they would make an emote one. I, I, I can't think of them all right now, but you've got some that manage mm -hmm. systems, some that manage piloting, some that manage other things like emotes, etc. They went through stretch goals for those. Yeah. J so. J J J J in chat. He's he, he's a big fan of Game Glass. He uh, it's funny. He said, uh, "I don't know who's behind the project, but they have my eternal respect and my firstborn too." Uh, J J J <laughs> J Are we J giving J away? You can't give away a baby. That goes with the raffle. Just so you know. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, J J Glass and and his firstborn. Yeah. J J J is he's he's a good 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 longtime friend of mine in the community. He. He's the oh, original yeah. organizer of uh, Pub Citizen Australia, and uh, just a just a great all around citizen. Oh, fine and, lad, oh, and wait, and, that. <laughs> and a and, and a jump clubber. He he what also owns he also owns a space yacht. Nice. Crazy ass space yacht owners. <laughs> now, now, what are we defining as space yacht? Is it only the 890? Are we talking about the 600s? Are we oh, talking about um, the 390s? No. Okay. okay, okay, all right, all right. So, so. Um, 890 is the biggest yacht, and the 600 is the second sure. biggest yacht. And sure, I guess making the, the, <laughs> the, the Phoenix is a Gulfstream jet. Yeah, okay. it's not really a yacht. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's not really. A so yacht. it's really yeah. the the 600 is the small yacht, as I call it. <laughs> okay, so the 300 doesn't make the yacht line. No, no, that, that, that's oh, that's that's three hundred. The three hundred yeah. a three hundred a tender. It's definitely yeah. not. A oh yet. yeah, the three yeah the three hundred is what delivers people to and yatch. from the yachts. Yet, uh, yet. Okay, all right. So on <laughs> to you do not anyway, need to own right a yacht. You do not need to own a yacht to hang out with the yacht club because we it's just really like to drink highly and recommended. Talk about spaceships. Yeah, it's what, we we're an inclusive club, right? Just we're very inclusive. We're, we're we're fully inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this drastic attack is the Star Citizen Ooh. roadmap. Drastic that's, attack. That's right. so, oh, and 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 this this is the condensed and summarized version by Odysseus out of France. Which is always awesome. Uh, he he comes out with this like I don't know. It, Thank you, Odysseus. I, maybe maybe he, he wrote a program yeah. to do this, but it, it comes out like very <clears> shortly. <throat> Yeah. Actual roadmap comes out, summarizes all the progress on all the different uh, features of each of each of the um, uh, roadmap items uh, from the the next one, three point six, all the way out to three point nine, uh, and and measures all the changes on all of them, segregates them all by color. It's absolutely fantastic. So go to Twitter, follow Odysseus. Um, he's out there somewhere. Yeah, he does an amazing job. He's been doing this for a long time. Yeah, but what's the one big thing that stands out in this? Who sees it? 
Swimming got pushed. Yes. <laughs> yes. Swimming got pushed. Swimming got pushed. Well, the key part behind that is what comes in the next update. A swimming well, pool in the 890. That's what right. How are we going to swim? It's, it's, We're not. Ready. Well, we'll get it in March. That's Waiting. okay. <laughs> we'll get it in March. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get the swimming in March. Hopefully, we get the eight ninety. Right, everyone's gonna drown. <laughs> Don't, go <Right>. in the- <laughs> Don't go in the pool. Well, you'll probably able to, you'll probably walk over it, or maybe it will be a death trap. Maybe it, partying around trap. the pool will be the the I crazy thing to do. Mm-hmm. You we'll will try and push each other into. No, it'll be great. It'll be great. You you turn off the gravity, and then you roll the ship and pull it down. They'll probably put a cover over it, like they did with the Phoenix hot tub. Right. Oh yeah, we'll make it right. friendly. God, can't we have anything fun these days? <laughs> <laughs> anything uh, that's really worth pool. chatting about there. Microtech uh, mm. got twelve percent towards its its finish last week. That was yeah. really good. The, there's there is progress yeah. on all fronts. The yeah, loss system really was twenty five percent improved. Did anything right. new show up? I didn't see anything new. Uh, I didn't see anything new. Just a change in swimming was really kind of the biggest thing. And we just recommend everybody checking out the roadmap every week because lots of things are improving and changing. And uh, <laughs> there's there's so much in every patch. And, and I, I, I keep hearing people say it's like 3.6, it's a light patch. It's like there is so much shit in 3.6 and 3.7. Yeah. Just because it's, it's not one of the hugest patches, the community is so spoiled and so entitled. <laughs> Here he you know, goes. <laughs> yeah, like going to brief rant, brief rant, but you know, so, so we get 3.3 with Hurston <laughs> and object container streaming and it's huge. And then we get 3.4 and it's, and it's pretty good. I don't remember what was in it. And then we get 3.5 and it's got art corp and all this other stuff. And it's huge. And yeah, people's yeah. like, Oh my God, there's all this stuff. It's like, all right. And then a few weeks later, it's like, all right, where's the next patch? Like the next, and then, and then 3.6, like, Oh, it's a light patch that, if you actually go and you read the monthly reports and you see all the stuff that they're working on, and then you look at the at, at the the roadmap and you see all the different things that are coming in every patch, so there may not be huge content things, there may not be gameplay loops, but there's a ton of stuff that they're working on every single it's a month. Lot. It's huge. I mean, they've got 550 plus people, and they're working on so much stuff in a very well organized okay. fashion to build from the ground up the foundations and the tools to build this universe. And so yeah, I'll drink a scotch for every little bit of the update. So <laughs> yeah, you know what? It, it, the update yes. is what allows me to sort of keep track of what's going on and not, not get too agitated when things are falling, falling by the wayside. I actually find it a really good tool for, for staying up to date and not getting, <laughs> not getting pissed off. About things. <laughs> try, 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 try. Dra- Dragger says that uh, I started Bar Citizen and then end up hating my community. It's like I I love this community. I, just, <laughs> I, no, I don't no, like no, no, people no, being irrationally. Like the... I, I don't like people being irrationally impatient and entitled because they forgot all the shit that's going on. Yeah, and yeah. then putting a coat on their little no, no, dog. No, can we? Can we? Can we? Oh, the goddamn yeah. coat. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on. <laughs> moving on. I'm drinking so. No, I was just gonna say. I was just gonna say he started the bar citizen community because he liked the drunk people talking about because they were passionate like us. <laughs> true, true, true. Anyway, so I, Friday's I, Friday's <laughs> newsletter. Yes. Friday's newsletter came along and we had three tidbits. three major things kind of announced for in this newsletter. And what are those? Tomorrow? Oh yes. Um. First one. I only paid attention to the origin celebration. Ah, okay. Well, what what do we oh, talk about? Oh, that? Oh, oh, well, okay. So you got it up on the screen, so I I can I can read that because I it, it's already it's it's old news to me. But three point five point one went to Ivicati, uh last Woo-hoo. week, and uh, so it was very exciting. So there there's a huge list of bug fixes because three point five is buggy as hell. Which we all know, oh, it's, and it's alpha. There's it's normal. Yeah. And it's buggy um, no, because there's a wait, lot of new content coming out in 3.6. There's proof right so there. much stuff. Yes, there there is. Um, uh, so that so they're working very hard on the customization for the 300 series. They've got a lot of bug fixes for a lot of different things. Um, but they've hinted at the origin celebration. So we're we're making lots of theory crafting and 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 whatnot because the origin 890 jump is coming out. <laughs> 
next month in 3.6, the Origin 300 series um, re- rework is coming out right now. And what is that ship? Because it looks so cool. I want one. Which ship? Where? That's the 300. The, the one on the screen. That's the 300i. That's the 300. It looks. You totally- just realized that's what the 300. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. So. So. Captain so. Morgan, I, so. Just figured out so, what the 300 looks like. So I, I, I was. I was. So uh, you you know those images that you look at in two different line. ways and and they look at like two completely. I literally have looked at this image multiple times, but I was looking at it from like a different like this angle. <laughs> Instead of this yeah. angle, and it looked a hundred percent different. I will give you this; now it's it looks way different than the original. So yeah, you I thought it was that. a new concept well, ship. Yeah. That's either great. either way. I, I thought it was an entirely different What's ship. In the wine? I thought it no. was in the wine. <laughs> this is what happens when we drink wine instead of beer. Cheap Portuguese wine. Yep. It's Maybe a good key. wine. It's Eleven o'clock. <laughs> Let's give it away. This is better than any okay. twenty dollars game blast time. Wine it is go. game blast time. All Game right. best time. Bring it in. Everybody, it's, quickly, ship me in chat. Ship me in chat. Run, run Bang. The, ship me in the chat. chat. Go, go. If you haven't done it already, if you have, you're still good. Ten seconds. No. We keep calling that a bang. Eight, an exclamation seven. point. Seven. It's called a bang in IT world. That's because it's also an interrobang. Eighteen. Bang. Four. One. Time up. <laughs> Rolling. I don't do math. <laughs> Here we go. Rolling. The wiener is. <laughs> Sorry. <I don't... laughs> Typing. Somebody's the writing one. something. Who's the winner? Phantom Killer! Wait, right? Who? Yes, right? Phantom what? Killer. Yes, Phantom Nightbot killer. said okay, it. Nice go. one. <laughs> well Phantom done, killer? Phantom Killer. I didn't see it come Phantom up. Killer! I didn't see where it came up either. Nice. I didn't see it come up either. Hey, All right, good. Hey, I'm not on my ass. Mom. Yeah, it's hey, there. It's, it's Nightbot. T, t-, 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 t- Nicer runs those. Not right now. Very nice. T, well done, t-, t- Nicer is our phenomenal mod from Tennessee. So game class key coming to you, Captain there, Phantom Killer. Well done. Yeah. Yep. So uh, make sure that you're in the Discord and you message uh, Stim, Stim with your contact details. Yep, and I'll get you that key Carpet after the show. with it. There's our Discord Onward. link. And for anybody else who wants to hang out in the Discord with a bunch of spaceships 24-7. Oh, God, it's getting better. Uh, every day, every day. Is hop into the Discord. So yes. We, we yeah. have a super active Discord. And we also have in-game events. I mean, and not you just to, events, but you just You get to catch guys like me in the morning, which is about That's 1 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> early morning, late morning, one of those mornings. Uh, Jordan's always up early. If you want to right, so, mo- so moving, <laughs> moving right along. Reroll because he already has game glass. So the order, oh, the, does. Oh, celebration. Oh, so I, I have a I have a bone to pick oh, on the celebration. So let's read the quote. Wait, can, wait, can, can we reroll? Because Phantom Killer says that he yeah. he already has one. Oh, so Why okay. You enter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So well, can. Can we, can we re-roll? Is that possible? I need another one. <laughs> and thanks, Phantom Killer, for throwing it back to the community. It's appreciated. Reroll, yes. Thank you very much. Can't even give these things away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. More, more and more people are getting them, though. That's right. Shows support. <laughs> uh, oh, you have to re-enter. re-enter. Okay, so everybody, please re-enter. re-enter. Oh, no. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we'll give everybody yeah, some time. Okay. We'll we'll go till right, so. um, quarter past. That's ten minutes. Quarter past. Go go. And then we'll, yep. and we'll do okay. again. Everybody okay. re-enter. Okay, so Ship back me. on to back on to the the thing. So I've got a bone to pick. Okay, so it says here uh, the quotation, and this came straight from the lore post on Tuesday as well. But it says, if it's possible for a company to merge class and sophistication with the sheer risk of spaceflight <laughs> and the cold blooded nature of <laughs> interstellar dogfighting, Origin Jumpworks comes the closest. So mm-hmm. it, it, the, my my bit of irked component here and i'm kind of bubbling everything together here but dogfighting and just talking about origin as if it is you know punching above its weight class or you know just as <laughs> just as tanky and and dogfighting <laughs> capability as ages anvil the, any the kind of pushing to say that these are luxury right there, ships the 325 gotta, is a contender well we got to yeah. decide what it is you know is it is it space yacht and or or a flying hotel <laughs> Or does it have a battle bridge for 
destroying it's everything yeah. and it's everything to everybody food. in luxury origin <laughs> is just the best of everything uh-huh well, so there okay so best of everything yes. did you best guys see everything. the game of thrones well, outtakes okay, I, I won't i won't i won't spoil anything but the... we're not talking about game oh, hold on hold on right? hold on <laughs> no 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 so Mercedes the... is from, what we're talking about from, here from from from, it, from, sh- from shadow the only person on the planet who didn't watch game of thrones so okay <laughs> very quickly if you haven't is, seen it sure already check out the actors reactions to um, interviewers asking them what they thought of the end of the Game of Thrones. <laughs> How is okay. this relevant? It's exactly the same thing. And if you watch Game of Thrones, you'd know. <laughs> okay, well, it's not relevant to me. Let me okay. talk about something everyone it. knows. Moving on. Mercedes, right. BMW, Audi. Hey, okay, are those something you would go and get into a dogfight with? Uh, um, in South okay. Africa, Maybe the Mercedes have, have flamethrowers on them. I don't know. They have blades that come mm. out under the under the car like seriously a, like a merc s south africa is dangerous or s600 it's like yeah, rally 5000 s600 doesn't come with guns on it exactly what? that's the point that's what the do you point. mean 600 so doesn't come with guns you, in south what? africa you can get fully armored mercedes with with gun ports that come out out of the windows yeah but they don't you can come get flamethrowers that go them. up the okay, side okay, as defensive measures <laughs> flamethrowers okay, i but i should you, you had a choice between this is that real. and like a hummer or like a, one of those Suburbans that got the miniguns on the top? Oh, yeah, without question. That's what I'm getting at. That's yeah. what I'm getting at. Origin okay. is not known for being a battle wagon, but it totally could be. agreed. It's just not as good. That's what I'm getting Totally doing. agreed. Totally agreed. <laughs> well, well, is a good knows. fighter. It's got that size four on the nose, two size threes, missiles. It's good yeah. Stuff. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah it is. Three, the 325 is a great but fighter. It, I, mean, I, it is, I, I am super you know, looking forward to, to, to taking the 325 into Vandal's form. <laughs> It's back do in, you in, think it's balanced though? Because in in Arena Commander, it's worthless. Well, well you can't judge been... Arena Commander right now because well, right, I don't, right yeah, now, I know, exactly, it's, it's I mean. screwed up. Yeah. So and like, don't bitch about how things are right now if they're fucked up. Whoa, don't whoa, fix it. No, no. <laughs> no, I know, and that's what I'm saying. That flight model is very old. So <laughs> where it's very just. <laughs> I think. Anyway. I think that's our next emote, Night Strings. Jordan <laughs> doing this. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 just write passion Jordan, across like, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I already, I already told Tina T- that our next emo has to be triggered. Some, something triggered. Oh, yeah, 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 triggered. Yes, I get triggered. It could no, no, be, be you. Be it could be you like this with triggered written across no, 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 the. Triggered. Right? I love it. I love it. I love it. it should be a spilled glass of alcohol. No, it should be a spilled glass of alcohol and say triggered across it. I never spill my alcohol. I never okay, so it would trigger us all. All right, moving something. on. Moving, Conrad moving right Cournoir uh, what, came what up with this? this. This is a oh, fan-made art piece, oh, yeah, which yeah, I think yeah. is really well okay. done. Uh, that That's was showcased cute. in the newsletter because we're still going over That's the newsletter right now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. Ooh, uh, okay, next. and then we got a sneak peek, and this is the sneak peek. What the hell is that? I don't know. It says, it's up from the bat- catacombs, I ran into the angel again. Yeah, we don't know. The bottom part <laughs> looks like battery. If you're looking at the back, it could be some well, kind if, of if, if, if you click the component. image, and if, if it opens the image, it's sometimes it'll show what the image phone. name is. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you click it's the image? The back I have clicked off. the image. It's as big as I can yeah. make it. does with, nothing. With, with imager, it's as big as I can make it, yeah. No, it's I mean, I, I, the, it doesn't open a separate oh, image. Oh, on the newsletter? The, uh, yeah, yeah from the that. newsletter, if you click it, and in the, in the, in the file name, in the, in the URL, it sometimes will tell you what the uh, description of it is. Oh, you're getting that's all how super we, that's, Okay. That's how we cheat these things. <laughs> Be all super sleuth. Right Props computer info. chip. <laughs> there, I, oh, compu- there computer blades. It is a computer blade. Yeah, it's a computer well, chip. It's a computer chip, not a blade. <clears throat> it says What's Gen Zero on it. Well, so blades are, all are, 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 are blades going to have chips? Like blades components have subcomponents? Gonna... Well, they spoke about well, server it blades. Be, it in would the, be right on par uh, with how in the Sitcom demo, right? They were, they yeah. were taking server blades, and blades <laughs> are those computer memory chips that they use to uh, we'll automate see. guns, yeah. turrets, and stuff like that? We'll see. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Okay. Computer blades are a different type of subcomponent. 
All right, moving yeah. right along because we, we, we have a lot to cover in the next segment. Go, go, go. When we get there. What's I'm going to read? Eventually. <gasps> do it. Ooh. Do it, Jordan. Caves. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, All right. caves. We got caves. Caves. <laughs> caves. Yay. Caves. Yeah. Caves. There's a lot of butt here. Citizen so this is the original <laughs> concept art that they were working on with the caves. Yeah, which was pretty cool. But actually, I, I got to say that what they yeah, actually sketchy. developed was almost better than the concept art. But I mean, just the the, the lighting and that that whole that's almost kind of Lord oh. of the Rings, like when they were down in in the the in in, in the caverns. It reminds me of Skyrim. Yeah, Sky Skyrim I'll Lord of the Rings. That. Yeah, it does go Skyrim. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Super Doesn't cool looking case. <laughs> I'm going to hide the chat while we watch this. That's a great idea. Yeah, so we can actually see it better. Chat's good, but these visuals are amazing. Yeah. As, so that so, is a top loading <laughs> top loading cave. Top left. <laughs> so you enter from the from the ground so, going down. <laughs> right. So 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 the, this was one of the examples of many of the procedural procedural layouts of the uh, of the 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 different different cave caverns and uh, and passageways <laughs> through the different caves. So and they showed dozens and dozens of these. So they're creating procedural tools to take the assets that they're creating to create. <laughs> an infinite variety of layouts of of cave maps because they, they talked about having actual thousands of caves on a planet and we're going to have hundreds and hundreds of planets so some planets may be just riddled with caves and have thousands of caves so may have hundreds we've got moons so this this is a it's it's a huge addition to the explorable area if uh, you if everybody run out of things to do, <laughs> yeah. So, so, <laughs> and, 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 and I had somebody in 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 some <clears throat> chat, you know, bitching the other day about it's like, oh, um, oh, I was I was in the the so I, I became a Discord partner, and so I got invited to the Discord partner chat. So it's Discord partners who are active people in gaming communities and whatnot around the world. And so I was talking with somebody about Star Citizen. So I started you know getting all hyped and and pitch, pitching it, and then some other people come in. And it's like, oh, well, there's and, and after I said there, there's like seven million square kilometers of planetary surface on two different planets, and it's like oh seven million kilometers of empty space. It's like well fuck you, it's gonna get filled up with so much <laughs> stuff. So and and this is just we one of the, here in the video. one of the many things that they're gonna be filling up all of this this massive surface area of these planets with are caves and towns and forests and like all these things <laughs> they're, they're going to populate this so we're still so early on as much as we have as incredible as it seems there's so much more yet to come that they're still just laying the foundations of they're just building the tools to build out the universe mm. and this is just one of the things and these procedural caves are, are going to add so much because like you know, all of us who love fantasy stuff and doing cave explore exploration and space we can do both well yeah rollo brings up a good point the the levels are the red bull levels and um, thing they actually showed some stuff from the caves which actually was pretty pretty impressive for the the, the cave. but i mean this actually looks direct this actually looks way better to be perfectly honest Oh, and there was I, actual the, content. So these, yeah, the, the, these are definitely some of the best looking caves anybody has ever let's, come. Let's up get with. to the good stuff, Stim. Well, well, so these I, are the different entrances that they have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so oh, this well, cool. but 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 it's it, it's important to cover what what they're talking about is like it, not just having the same entrance design for every cave. So if there's going to be thousands of caves, I don't want them all to of look course. like the same thing. So yeah. Sure. The, the, the way that they're building everything in the universe is procedural and uh, and and randomized. So like right. this this is a picture of a, a cavern. This is a picture of a tree stump where you actually go into that stump and down into the cave. Right next to Shadow's head. Uh, <laughs> that's that's actually over. Uh, no, no, my, no, no, this is no, right there. Uh, oh wait, no. no uh, 
Sorry. No, oh, on on yes. this one, on this one, it's over Dr. Murray's head. That's yeah, right. So it's 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 the big hole. It's a big, that, hole. <laughs> it, it's that uh, big hole over Dr. Murray's head. Which it's like it's a cave entrance. Yes. Yeah. So it's like so you can go down into that. But 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 there were some others where so you go into the side. Um, so the, the, there's uh, this was a great view on Damar where they were testing out how they're going to blend in with with the surfaces. So uh, we skip past that real fast, but. So it just looks like another s set of rocks, but once you get up close to it, there's a hole in the middle, and then you, there's this huge cave complex from this randomized rock, rock formation. So and you may be flying over any of these really moons. Well. Yeah, it yeah, and, and, really well. And 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 this is super early work in progress, which is just it's 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 <clears> incredible <throat> what it's looking like. So if we if we move on, um, yeah, there's some of the addition additional content so this is some of the uh cave sort of early work that's being done yeah so this was like a year ago they were they were saying which is okay. real early work in process just kind of general shapes um <laughs> with co columns and um just Stalactites just general stalagmites yeah and and not even the real stalagmites or stalactites which, which we we have some uh, uh images of here okay. uh, in a little bit Okay, but and it's just cue. kind of showing yeah. some some of these and and so like these columns. So there's like thick columns and thin columns and lots of different types of columns. Um, that uh, and this is talking about how so within each one of these cavern complexes, the blue areas are going to be set up as pathways. So there's always going to be a way for the character to get through from one end to another in the cave. And then the the content inside of the cave is going to be procedurally generated randomly around these paths and the orange areas are where other things might generate um, some specific content or um, uh, uh, yeah they were calling it gameplay content yeah yeah it's, yeah, it's guaranteed not content. to be blocked which is important because you you know right. you mean dynamic content's great but if it gets blocked then it kind of breaks the whole thing <laughs> it, exactly it so all of the ahead. other shapes around it are going to be ra randomized uh, procedurally uh, and and like one of the things that they were talking about was like each of those columns um, in the caves might be made up of five different components, and each of those components of that column are procedurally generated. So th mm. there's literally an almost infinite variety of these caves where nothing nice. is going to seem repetitive. And like and 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 I was talking with Stem earlier that and th this is this is one of the things <laughs> that. Whenever the, the the environmental developers are talking about is being able to generate a, a huge variety that's not repetitive and be able to turn it out quickly through their procedural <laughs> tools. And the, the, uh, these are these are some of those stalactites. You got to bring chat back. <laughs> some really good chat in there. Yeah, wait a minute. Alex Alex says, "Wait a minute. The Skyrim devs said the same thing." <laughs> yeah, but Sky oh, Skyrim is that's what, a tough one. <laughs> but Sky Skyrim is <clears throat> eight, eight kilometers by eight kilometers. Oh no, 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 no. I, I I know. Just so yeah, so that was a tiny area, and they still didn't get caves. But yeah, right. So I, they they were they were trying for something entirely different. And Star Citizen, that's why it's tucking taking so long. And that's why it's taking, taking Man, slow. wine makes you angry. I like it. I think we should make you drink wine <laughs> every just, night. I'd, I'd like just, to see Joran on rye. I really <laughs> would. <laughs> Shit, I want to see him on scotch. <laughs> <laughs> Joran on scotch, that'd be scary. Move so right along. Those are so slag the, cool tights, part. right? Slag tights come down or just slag, slag mites come down? tights come tights, down. So yes, like mites, mites go up. Go up. go up so okay. these are some uh initial <laughs> tests of stalactites which were pretty cool looking neat the way that there there's methods for them to dynamically generate their in groups and areas uh, that's i mean and this is environmental to see the end seeing, product like and, and that's a mineable you can't really see it but just uh on the other side that's one of the concept mineables that they have they're not official yet mm -hmm. oh yeah the stick out thingy yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, is, we got to give away is, that is game glass. Oh, no, oh yeah. that's right. Okay. Yes. We're five minutes oh, past when we said we would do it. Has, okay, so. ev has 
Everybody ship me in chat. Quick, quick. Everyone ship me quick in chat. Who, ship me, ship who doesn't me. already yeah. have a game glass? If you don't already, already have, have a game, game glass key. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation that. point. Ship me in chat. <laughs> yeah. If you've, if you've done it already, you don't need to do it again. If you do it too yep. much, you get taken out of the draw. So be careful. Uh, too much. No, no, I, no wait a minute about that. No, I think we took I think we took that away because I think like, we said yeah, it to five. Just about that. Yeah, you can't like do that, it five so. times, so don't be a bastard. All right. Yeah, shit me. So, <laughs> so Jackster is rolling it. Here See we go, rolling. Class. Hey, Jackster! Yay! Awesome. Yay! Nice. In a eight ninety. Nice. You Congrats, win a free Jackson. 890 jump. No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, only if you're giving it away. <laughs> yeah. Right. Courtesy Jackson. of Shadow Kid. Good. Yeah, courtesy Congrats of Congrats on winning the game glass key. Well done. Drex, well already, done. Drex, already, Drex already has an 880 jump. Now he has a game glass. Now he has a game glass. Now he can effectively manage his battle bridge. Somebody else will probably be flying it for him. Who says it was rigged? <laughs> Yeah, but right. yeah, but I okay. This this the size of these caves is really huge, and the fact that in some of these you'll be able to actually fly into them with a with a smaller ship or drive into them with an Ursa rover is like really exciting. Well, yeah. Well, like, no, you know it's really cave funny. bases. This is what's really funny, and this is this is something I know I'm gonna. Be, it's like actually, Ghost is here tonight. Ghost, my buddy, him and I are huge. Why am I moving left? Because I, I want people to be able to see the, the, the person standing down below. Wee, I'm flying. Anyway, so <laughs> my buddy like Ghost and some of the other guys that I play with, <laughs> I'm flying around. We do like dungeon crawling all the time. So it's like, this is going to be terrible. We're going to get like down. Because we're going to have to search every corner and crevice. And, you know, I mean, we search for crevices. So that's why I thought it was cool. But I hope it's like exciting and rewarding. You know, it's not just... Same thing over and over. That's my only thing. So there's my my two A uh, UECs because <laughs> they're worthless. <laughs> Excellent. Interesting point. Let's get to the cool part. <laughs> We're getting there. There's so there's so much cool stuff. So <laughs> oh, there's a really I like, really I like Specter's cool suggestion. Put with... you up on the ledge. Come on. <laughs> nice. No, no, wait, nice. Right, right, here. Here, well on. done. Here, That's on. awesome. <laughs> Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's like a troll. He's a troll behind the behind, behind the, the ledge. Right. <laughs> <Angers Jordan. laughs> only fight, fight, fire swords. Only fire swords. Flame sword. <laughs> the troll that angers. <laughs> yeah, Kilroy. That was what I was going. For. <laughs> <laughs> and what then, the lastly, this is the this piece de resistance. Freaking. So they yeah, spoke about. One of the most so there's water here, there's glowworms, there's plants. It's kind of the culmination of everything. But they were talking about lighting. Uh, they were working with, uh, obviously, their design. But they were able to work with the design department and also with the lighting effects department. Yeah. And they were looking at natural lighting, of course, as you can see here, through fireflies and glowworms, as well as with uh, man-made lighting, which is uh, you can Any see in the, sort of in the background. Yeah, bioluminescence. Yeah, so, so they, were, they were saying that, like, you just have all these caves with just a flashlight. It, it's going to be super, super dark. So that they want to come up with some some natural uh, natural illumination for as many places as they can. And this one was just the most gorgeously spectacular. Like I am seriously going to live in one of these. Yeah. Like I don't care how much it costs. This is going to be one of my homes right here. Sure, it's going to live in a lot of places. <laughs> that's that's what I do. It's like I'm not in it for combat. I'm a tourist. Like I like that's to have it. nice homes. And um, so th this is actually based based on something that's in the real world in New Zealand. They they have bio bio bioluminescent worms. <laughs> so out. so Joran, yes. I've I've been in those caves. So, you have, yeah. So the, <laughs> oh, so shit. the ones I was in are called the Waiatomo Caves in New Zealand on the North Island. Um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. And I remember like it took a long, we were going for about 45 minutes before we actually got to a stretch that had these glowworms in it. And, uh, -huh. uh we were on these inner tubes and we were, uh, like picture the donut kind of ring, you know, we were laying back in these and then uh -huh. each person had the person behind them, their legs under their arms. So we're in this big chain floating down this, Do you know what this the glowing river. Part is? 
Yeah, yeah, but hold on, hold on. Don't don't, don't <laughs> tell them that yet. <clears throat> so, but we're looking up. All of us have our torches off at this point, our, our lamps off at this point, and we're we're <clears throat> drifting almost silently. You can hear a little bit of dripping, kind of an echo as we're floating back and it was the most amazing experience. And in my head, all I could hear was uh, like the police, the song, you know, giant steps are what you take walking oh, on the moon. Wow. That's so cool. all you could think of at that back. point. It was so cool. <laughs> it was really amazing. Oh man. <laughs> well, I was going through my head. So, 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 you, so, you, so you actually got to see the caves with the, with the glowworms. In it? It's, it's pretty cool. It's nothing as spectacular as this. Um, so the glowworms, they, they kind of form in colonies. Uh, and uh -huh. so they won't, I, I didn't see a colony as large as that. Um, but, and they, they tend to not be like dripping down like that. They tend to have like these uh -huh. things that are hanging, but they're not like actively in a state of dripping, or at least they <laughs> flow a lot slower than that. Um, so, uh, Shadow, why don't you tell... Uh, the good folks, what <laughs> what that actually is. The main part that does glow is poo. Yep. Yeah. It's always it's poop, poo? right? It's always like bat guano yeah. or it's something. It's always something you don't it, want, yeah. but it's it super glows. cool to look at. <laughs> and I can't remember if it's a worm okay. or like a... Hey, if my poo started to glow, I would show it off too. <laughs> <laughs> Just go with that. But it's All beautiful. Right. It's beautiful. Move it right along. Yeah. And, and, and regardless, of, regardless of how the real thing is, this is spectacular. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> spectacular. Do yeah, it's a, no. It, it what's really key about this is all the real, all the pieces and parts of the lighting. I don't know if it's actually coming through. I highly encourage you to actually watch it in the stream because this is like yeah. low res. What they showed yeah. was just out of yeah, it's gorgeous, sight. stunning. But yeah, it's all the way unfortunately that aren't very high the res. Different types of light yeah. sources were working together and actually overlaying. Oh, it just looked amazing. So yeah. yeah, I can't wait to to find one of these. And I'll be looking at the ceiling, thinking they're pooing on me, but that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> some people worry about the weirdest things you know sometimes sometimes the more you know the the worse off you are yeah it really I, you are. <laughs> it's 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 kind of like staying in a hotel just don't think about the yeah, sheets don't and think the cover. About it. just exactly. don't think don't about, think it. about it. it you're fine we'll just burn the bed and sleep on the floor <laughs> so this could be like a mining excavation or some kind of like group that you're coming up up across yeah across. And they, they they did a lot with like man made light versus you know uh the bioluminescent light and other sort you know like oh so do you have the other lighting source show the light coming through the top that looked really wild i mean like and if you really think of, oh yeah, yeah that's the yeah. frost one but no this is another oh, no, this example. is light I mean, coming through the have... top it's just it's just not as good as the thing <clears> you're talking about but wasn't this the yeah one we, yeah we the yeah we got a couple of different ones yeah the, yeah, yeah. The, this the, this was this was a cold environment so there was like right. like like frost in the air and fog and so it was like more of a like a like on microtech where it's going to be more of a right. cold a cold environment cave and mm -hmm. then there was another one we've got a gif of a hot and humid cave which I thought just looked spectacular because that there was really neat yeah the water and the dripping it's just it, I think it this the is the one this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Because it's oh, the way that the this, light. This was shines. so pretty. I mean, because if you watch like mm. movies, you know, like Tomb Raiders and all these, I, I only walk by as I see them. But if it's like you see that and you're like, wow, that, yeah, that, that, you know, it might not be real, but it looks Hollywood, which is pretty bad. Yeah. Again, yeah. proof and this that is, fog is going to be a major thing in Star Citizen. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, yes. when you already. Fog, fog already <laughs> is a major thing. But it is. It's. We, we have, spaceships we, are foggy. Yeah, a lot of spaceships are foggy. My, the 600 is very foggy somehow, oddly. The, oh. There is a fire on top. What on we'll earth is that? Go back to that in a sec. That's that's night. That's dark mode of something. <laughs> okay. There's a fire on top of was, your Phoenix if you have that was, one. That was some weird. That's point. right. Yeah, above that the was. bar. <laughs> is every there? Every time we're in it, we think it's on fire. Is, yeah, by fire in the bar. bar. Remember on we that one on that one episode, we thought we thought the Phoenix was on fire. It's above the bar, <laughs> sort of in the center uh, alignment of the ship. Um, yeah, I, I don't have a picture to no, show of it. Don't but, but. totally <laughs> didn't not remember that. It's early onset, but it's okay. We'll get you through. It. <laughs> early onset, but yeah. So I, this this looks so good, and it's 
still early work in progress. Yeah. It's still early. Yeah. All right. So that Days are going to be fun when they give them to us. That was inside Star Citizen. Or the, sorry, that was uh, Star Citizen Live. Star so, Citizen I mean, Live. What an epic week of the content that we got. That was just amazing. That, that, was, that was a lot of good stuff. And then, Joran, you want to tell us about this one here? The bartender mocap? <laughs> oh, yeah. So... <laughs> Okay, yeah. so so I don't know why we, I was not called for this. We, <laughs> so th this was a, a tweet by Tyler Wicken, as, as you can see. So that they were capturing mocap for bartenders for <laughs> um, uh, so this was covered in the in the monthly report actually in under animations. They're working on a new mission giver, Eddie Parr, uh, a bartender who gives out missions. Um, we're not sure who, where he's going to be if that, he's going to be in one of the existing uh, uh, bars that we have or in a new bar. But pretty so sure they, I'm never going to leave the bar. <laughs> which, which, you we spend most of our times. We spend most of our time in the bar anyway. Are you sure? But, yeah, but I, I, it was it was Don't it was very cool. I, how 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 realistic that they that they that they do these things. That I you know so we're gonna have a bartender. So he's gonna be in there. It's a professional bartender, and he's gonna be pouring drinks and mixing them and doing all all this stuff. And uh, it, it was it was very cool. So yeah, so that was one of the things actually in the um, uh, monthly report that came out. So we we have not had a chance to completely summarize the monthly report because there's so much stuff. Yeah. yeah. Every week. Yeah, and there's a lot, lot of there. there's a lot of stuff. We're getting the through report. it though. We really are getting through. But um, th this this was some environmental art from the landing zone. The team began early white box the exploration one, yeah. of Crusader landing zone. Uh, the floating city of or Orison. So, which is going to be awesome. This mm. is probably going to be one of those spectacular places in the first. So, for I see a lot of accidents happening here, though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. whether it's crashing ships and <laughs> falling, falling over, falling off the edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, so, there's so, a bar with like open sides. <laughs> so, so Crusader is owned by Crusader Industries, which manufactures the Star the Starliner, the Hercules, the Star Runner, um, and whatever other other future ships come. So, each of these platforms is actually a factory platform building one of these these ships. And then there's habitation modules, there's there's uh, recreation modules, and there's going to be lots of greenery and trees and parks, and and there's going to be tramways that go in between. Um, so those little spindly connections are tramways in between the, the major floating platforms. Still and this no is idea the, how this thing floats. It well, it's 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 space an, magic hand wave space, space magic in the I'm sure they'll explain it at some at some point uh, in the upper atmosphere of Crusader where it's actually breathable <laughs> um, <laughs> at this particular level and something 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 space yeah. magic something 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 yeah, it's, it's got to be space hand magic hand wave I mean, if, if, and if you were actually wave. floating yes. you'd be breathing a liquid like no yeah, no, it's a it's, video game. It could do whatever the hell they, they want. They terraformed the upper <laughs> atmosphere. They did terraform the upper atmosphere. <laughs> they terraformed so, physics. It sounds thank like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Emphasis, Dr. Murray, PhD. Anyway, we love it. We want it. I don't want to. Yes, we want Ignorance it. is bliss, Super as people it. are saying. So, yeah. Yes, uh -huh. don't the, care. Very cool. As the, JJ the says is, so aptly. Yes. The, the good news is that they're starting to work on it again. Um. And it's due out in 3.9 in March of next year. So less than a year away now. So and did that come in the monthly report, Jordan? Yes, that was part of the monthly yeah, report, the actually. Monthly report. Yep. So I, I I did manage to get a few Big notes way. out of the monthly report. So that was one of the notes out of the monthly report. Um, also, the, the modular team finished white box and the new assets for more diverse space station exterior shapes for their procedural tool. This looks um, interior. Uh, so this was actually from Microtech. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's a couple more shots though. <laughs> yeah, so, so this is this is this is another thing the environment the environmental <laughs> art team focused on the high tech common elements found throughout New Babbage on on guy. Microtech. The new hangar, hab, transit, garage, mm -hmm. and security elements are currently being finished up. So that's I see a that's turret. Nice. Um, this is actually from the garage. It does. Uh, it looks like if a you look at the file name, 
Well, it looks Look like a it. turret. No, it's, it's straight it's, by his head. What no, that that's like a, a loading a jack garage. or something that you use your that's hand. That's a turret. Oh, <laughs> that's a turret. a turret. That says, a turret. That says none shall pass. That's yeah. What that's. It ain't <laughs> going this way, sucker. Like, yeah. hey, go ahead. Type your password. Well, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a futuristic, <laughs> futuristic pallet jack. Yeah, uh-huh. that's what I think it is. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Uh-huh. Right that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> I I have a, a lot of history. I have a lot of history with pallet jacks. I work in warehouses. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> I did too. I nearly <laughs> killed myself. Worked in warehouses. <laughs> yeah, they're great fun. Lots of knobs and dials and twisties things and stuff. Like, oh lord. <laughs> but yeah, so th- this is some of the stuff they're working on for New Babbage in Microtech, which is coming in December. Which is very exciting. Yeah, but there's a couple more shots were in there, Tim. Um, no, this is the only thing we had from the monthly report for Microtech. Oh, okay. New Babbage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Landing Zone Team, White Box, Crusader, New Babbage. And the next image was from uh, there we go. the Defender Work in Progress. That really looks this organic, look, hey? Looks really yeah. alien. So different Which from what we've got. We're giving one away, so we are giving one says, of these away, right? So, Which, oh, this so, comes out when, Jordan? Um, this is coming out in three point six next month. That's right. Actually. Yes. Next month. Yeah. Right. So, are, are we are Very we having exciting. a raffle? Are we doing another raffle for this? So, do we yeah. do we need to yeah, do ship me? So, yeah. okay. So, yeah, we'll so, so, so we're we giving more? away. So we're we're, we're, game we're, Dr. Murray, right? or not Dr. Murray, uh, T Nicer has to tell us when we're ready first for the ship me's. So yes. hold off yeah. on them. Are we, so, are we doing the banner will, defender? Right? No, ship no, me no. In, ready. Chat, in chat. Yes. Oh, we so, are. Okay. Uh, yeah. So over the, the, the next the next 20 minutes of the show, uh, ship me in chat, and we're going to give away a Banu Defender original LTI concept, which is coming out next month. So. Uh, for all of y'all that are new to the stream, so uh, everybody who raided with Dr. Drones or showed up who hasn't seen this before, we are four guys from the Jump Club who own 890 Jumps, and yep. we're uh, fairly uh, older, high-level backers with a different perspective from most of the other community content uh, people, and we've got a pretty positive outlook overall, and uh, we wanted to kind of share with the community our outlook and what we typically do every day in the Jump Club with several hundred other jump owners talking about spaceships and the weekly news and whatnot, but uh, with the community and it's mm-hmm. been uh, yes. an awesome ride. We've been doing this since unless Jay hates something. That's right. February, since, March, uh, March. Hey, Our first episode was like March 3rd March. or something. Well, we yeah. tried in January. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, there was well, we tried. we tried. We tried. Time to set up. So, so, <laughs> so. Stim, Stim Citizen is our glorious producer out of Vancouver, Canada. He has <laughs> an incredible setup with just, I and mean, he's 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 like a, a movie studio in in his uh, in his home um, home area there. He and he has a big yes, screen. He is, he is kind <laughs> a of vegetarian in person too. And Shadow yes, ah. Shadow is our is our <laughs> backup <laughs> and just as good Shadow. a producer. Yes, uh, to, he is. to handle things when I'm not running it, and also has a really amazing setup. So <laughs> he, he is, and and Sh- Shadow Shadow's in Ohio, and Stem Citizen and I and uh, were lucky enough to go to Ohio last month yes. and attend the Ohio Bar Citizen, which was amazing. Yeah, and Shadow's uh, so, and so, so we are here. Together. I think there's yeah. a couple other. Well, Pixels yeah. on vacation. Got a ghost. Yep. Uh, ghost didn't get to make it, but he, I know he's in. Yeah, we've got a couple yeah, people yeah. In, in chat, but we had a great time hanging out with, with Shadowkin and Dr. Molly, Murray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do, we do have do, a great doc, Dr. Murray <laughs> is our re, re, resident uh, realistic. Um, uh, He's the guy that argues with Joran. <laughs> <laughs> we never argue. <laughs> No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's rational. I'm just the check to his that. unchecked. Yes. There you Dr. Go. Dr. Murray is, is our... Is our Realistic balance. From He's also <laughs> our star checker. citizen uh, encyclopedia and fact checker. Yes. 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 Very he much is, so. knows and, his stuff. And, and a legatus, double legatus, something like Proud. that up, up there. Oh, Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 something like that. And and the Love and the, 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 the owner of the massive, glorious, epic beard. And uh, yeah, so uh, so we're doing this show for the community and everything that 
give all the donations, all the bits, all the subscriptions go back to the community with regular giveaways oh. and game glasses and ships. And we just give it back to you because we just enjoy the fuck out of this. It's great fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the, the long, the long, yes. the long uh, <laughs> discussion brings it back to why we're talking about it, and that is because we like giving ships it, back to people. And yeah, we do. Really. Helping this everybody is, make part. a fun time. Most of us were here. here. Well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, sh- exclamation point! Ship me in chat, and we're going to give away this glorious defender at the end of the show here in about twenty minutes or so. And god damn, it looks good. And yes, it, it is does. amazing. This is like a what, hundred and eighty dollar? It was a hundred and eighty dollar ship. Hundred eighty five. Yeah, one eighty five. Like that. Yeah. So so this so this is a I two person Banu alien <laughs> uh, long range fighter, which has uh, has beds, it has crew space, and is very very cool looking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it might What's somehow made up with the BMM, maybe. Yeah, that maybe. is complete and utter speculation. I, how could <laughs> they say it? It's no, true. They said it, not CIG. CIG said it. No, CIG said, they, CIG said that they would look at it because the community was so rapidly <laughs> well, just watching said it this might. to happen. They would look at it. I going to. I said it might happen. And it may it's have the, the, the ability one. to have active view screens yeah, on the stem. inside arms so you can see through it. Should I pour you <laughs> Yeah, I do, do. <laughs> And then if it does have that, then you'd think about it. It could have active camo with with oh, you're the cameras involved. being on the okay. other side, right? Confirm. The whole, Confirmed here. The first. whole ship. The whole ship might be invisible, so you can actually see out over the armor. Yes, right. yes invisible. Yeah. Visual, Completely invisible armor. At the, at this point, disregard <laughs> everything said by the junk club in the second hour <laughs> after drinking. <laughs> Yacht Club. No, this isn't the jump. Okay. Oh, this is Yacht Club. Uh, let's let's Sorry. move on. Yeah. So clearly, after the, right along, after lead the vehicle artist Chris that we Smith said we were going to do, we had the. We're, I didn't finish Chris Smith. That? Okay, do it. Uh, so okay, so so we're not covering the whole monthly report, but we're covering the first section of the monthly report because we we finished the other part of our our show He's earlier. Literally picking um, the sections he wants to go through. <laughs> but well, it's going to be too long if we don't. So. No, it's yeah. good. That's fine. Well, just... So, lead vehicle artist Chris Smith completed the white box phase of another as yet undetermined ship. Oh. oh. Nothing, oh. nothing other than that? Oh. That's all we got. But, but holy shit, Chris Smith is working Wait. on a new concept show. So, Chris Smith. Chris designed... Smith worked on the 600. It, Chris, no, he did not. Chris Smith he did not. was the original creator of the 300. He redesigned the 300. And he also created the Knox. Um, I don't remember what else he created, but he Very white uh, ships. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> the 600 whites. He didn't work in the 600, but he's definitely one of the better uh, ship artists that, that CIG has. It's not going to be the working... Origin 200. That's too he's early. Yeah, the, 400. the 420. Jordan, do you think we're getting the 400? Do you think that's what's yeah. happening. <laughs> the 420. Um, no, yeah. that's um, not that origin enough. style. Yeah, so, so, yeah, that's, wait, that's, it's that's just great. It's just covered in a <laughs> shield. Of snow. My <laughs> theoretical, theoretical speculation on the 400 is, we'll is it an emerald it, green edition? Yeah, the emerald green 600 <laughs> would look better than the white version. <laughs> but so, so we theorize that they need to have a 400 series about 40 meters long, like the the the. Cutlass or freelancer from Origin um, that has like a little bit of cargo, a little bit of passenger, a little bit of exploration. Um, so that would be a multi country, a little bit of rock yeah. and roll. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which would it would have to come out of the UK studio because it's a multi cruise ship. You should really unhide chat right now. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes, we you, you still got chat hidden. A lot. Some very okay. interesting stuff going on. So, so great, we, we get to keep some great community so, feedback. So we keep chat up for the YouTube because uh, Twitch only saves this for two weeks, but this is up forever mm. on YouTube. So we definitely need to bring back YouTube. Twitch chat. <clears throat> and then also, also uh, notes on the monthly there report is the Asperia Prowler completed its white box phase and now joins the that band I'm looking forward and to. Graybacks. You so know, a lot of people are very excited about the Asperia Prowler. Uh, and then progress was oh. also made on the Kruger P72 Archimedes, which we have video of, which is due for release in Al- also in Alpha 
So this is yeah. another ship that's coming out. About it actually being able to leave the grid of the Phoenix? That's the Merlin. No. The, the... no, not until they get ship to ship docking. Yeah, which was when? 3.8. Yeah. 3.8. Yes. That's going to be that's, that's, a, that's a sexy ship. I want more Kruger mm-hmm. industry ship. I I want a bigger I ship from Kruger. Yeah, I can't I see think, that. I, mean, I think it's they're making like a these, giant blade. They're making these small ships is fine. That's that's their niche market. They're not right, right, right. They're, they're like, not some um, they're like mm-hmm. aerial. They're, no, they're like Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> no, Fiat has has a bigger model. They're like aerial. Yeah, they no, they made a bigger model out of their tiny car, <laughs> and they just made it taller. That was yeah. I wasn't calling a bigger ship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Susan Lou, great point. There needs to be a competitor to the M50. Because it seriously right now there really isn't. The well, Razor, there's the 350R. The, uh, no. The no, no, the 350R and the M50R totally to- different. totally different ships. Uh, big to- versus, like, totally different. Yeah, the one's faster, the other uh, one turns better. Yeah, that's yeah. not a competitor. You need something that goes like <laughs> Like Are the we talking about drag racing, like fast. a straight line. Well, the yeah, Merlin. I mean, so, well, when but, you but, dump the throttle, the Herald but rather. You know. but, the Herald. But, but not just. There you go. But not just straight. Not just straight line, <laughs> and not just drag racing, and 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 not, and not just not just turning. Okay, so so. And what are we talking about? We're talking about racing. The Herald. He brought the Herald up. Hey, you right, said so, the straight line. So, so it's so, the fastest ship in the game. Right. It is, but it doesn't look as good as the M50. So, it's an ugly ship. Know. God, it's 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 horrible. It is, it's an and, it is. and it's not fun. No, the Herald is capsule. The Herald is hideous. Hideous. sustained human habitation. No, it's hideous. <laughs> hideous. I think it, I think he really likes the Herald. <laughs> like Herald. Are we going to cover the the, the the Squadron yes. Forty Two monthly report right now? Right now. Um, all right, so we have a little bit of stuff in Squadron 42 monthly report. Um, uh, I I just made a few highlight notes because. Um, this was interesting that uh, Art's finishing the touches were uh, Art was finishing touches were adopted to added to the Vanduul armor and the team are currently exploring the Xi'an. So they're starting to look at the Xi'an race. Um, those I am. Actually starting to starting to build build uh, some assets to them. And and that's it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 unfortunately. So, so I, I included this really, really interesting note about uh, animation technical from the Squadron Forty Two monthly report, which I was hoping that would be earlier in the show, and I wouldn't have had an entire bottle of wine. So, oh, you drank the whole thing. Good man. Almost, almost. <laughs> it's it's Portuguese wine. You're still a little bit, a little bit left. This is great. Hey, it's it's lower calorie than beer. It's oh one of the God. best shows we've done. Clearly. Uh, all right. So I'm, 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 I'm going to attempt to not mangle this. So I thought, I, mangle. I thought it was interesting. So the technical animation team worked towards revamping the source control integration inside Maya with a view to support different par force work streams. Traditionally, this has, this hasn't been possible in technical animation. The DNA system that powers character customization is also being converted to run in Maya. Though difficult, these projects are progressing well. So, well, I I got that fairly well. I have you did that did, very like, well. You did. You did. You did that very well. Um, really, I, you I didn't did. totally. Maybe you should that. do the show intro. Um, but, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> oh, All right. Like, well, we'll we'll talk about we'll talk about future ad libbing of show intros rather than trying to follow the script. Yes, yes, yes. But well, no, so, so we'll amazing to talk about it. Really. Just, so, but, it's okay. No, so, it was. So I, I I I I actually looked up per four streams uh, because I I thought that the, this was a, an interesting tech that I didn't understand, which I don't understand most of the tech that they're doing because I'm not a techie guy. Um, but per, per four streams are arches are no are branches with brains, a, a containerized approach to managing bodies of related files, such as code lines. So a lot of times when we see these development chains where they're putting um, like all these different uh, uh, feature contents together like uh uh i don't even know how to describe it but <laughs> it's it, it, it's it's a much more streamlined it's way of creative. creating 
creating these these technical timelines. Shadow, you're a tech, you're you're our most technical guy. You explain oh. how that works. Uh, I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I was chatting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Hold moving on. right along, we're just gonna we're just gonna okay, let's just go right over that one. <laughs> Which, next, yeah. I'll comment on next show. Okay, okay, so, so, so uh, it's so, following such a, a great chat we have, a, a, which is a, now not on the screen. A quick summary yeah. of that was essentially that there, it's another way that they're creating new tools to uh, speed up the production of animation, technical animations done in Maya. If that makes sense. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, is, is that what they're using for everything? Yeah, really? Uh, they're using that for a, a lot of the character and animation things, is Maya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and they're actually using Maya for, yes. for, for the development of the Banu Defender because it's more organic. <laughs> that, is, so that was very interesting. No, well, that I could totally see. Because, I mean, some of the, some of the textures that were shown for the Defender were really complex. Yeah. 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 All right, next. <laughs> All right, Stan, you can take you can take that one. The engineering. Yes. Uh, so, so the actor f feature team continued their work on the next iteration of jumping, of jumping. Oh, nice. Okay, so this time they concentrated on making jumping from heights look and feel more realistic. I'm excited for that. Um, yes. I, well, I, yeah, know it's, I, know, I know it's not that superhero like you know drop down and get the landing. But, but that's going to make the game feel real. It's just right? making it more realistic. Yeah, just just making it so that you know it's not a a canned <laughs> animation all the time. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, then they did work on takedowns, um, as well as implementing blockouts for both bare hand uh, and knife takedowns. So that's great. Well, I remember seeing. Happen. The, the takedown from it was the 2016 Citizen Con where they did the sandworm reveal, or was that 2017? That was 2016. Sandworm. You know, they how did was that, that a whole... takedown? Well, they did a takedown the where the guy arm. snuck up behind <laughs> the, the sand man, sand people man, the sand, the sand man, and uh, Mr. Choked sand him out, basically. Man. <laughs> no, he stabbed him in the side of the head. What are you talking did he, about? Choked did him, did out. he knife yeah. him? No, he stabbed him, yeah. In the side of the head, like through the skull? Yeah. <laughs> that's hard. Yeah. That's a well, sharp knife. Yeah. It's like a laser knife. You're trying to kill somebody, so that's probably a good way of doing it. I'll have to watch that. <laughs> did you say that's harsh or did you say that's hard? Hard. Well, that's just the to reality. Take a knife and yeah, get yeah. it through the skull? The skull is really strong. Not, not, at, this, yeah, well. not at this angle over here. <laughs> Pretty anyway. sure if you stabbed hard enough, it would go right in. Yeah, but you'd have to like yeah. go right through the temple anyway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or very sharp. Worm right? More like a, like a laser How blade. Are we anyways, I think he stabbed him in the neck, actually. <laughs> That's what I said. Okay. Whatever. Oh, Lord. So uh, bearing pistols is the next Ooh. step. Which those, is... those were sec sexy. I love everything by bearing. Oh, they always look good. I yeah. like those grips. Those are focus. Nice. Well, yeah. they look they might not be practical. Bearing but... always look good. You know what I like about this, right, this gun the most? It gives me a 45, a 1911 45. It, it, looks, like a six, it looks like a six hour. What? No, it that looks, like a, doesn't. that looks like a SIG. It looks like a SIG. No, it doesn't. It, a it, looks more like a, it looks more like a SIG than a right, 45 Doc, than a, than a 1911. Like a Glock 17 or a, or a 1911. It, 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 it looks it, more it looks like a barrel. barrel. It doesn't look it's anything like, like a 1911. Desert Eagle and like 357. What? It doesn't Where the look anything. You get through like, these. Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> it, it I think nothing like Desert Eagle. Because the smaller form factor, I don't know. It, it, it looks nothing like a 1911. It looks Spectre more like a Sig. Spectre says Sig for sure. It, it looks more like a Sig or or yeah. an HK or an HK. Oh, Desert Eagle. I, I, Actually, I will go with Desert does, Eagle. It does not look yeah. like an. Because it's got that overbuilt frame. Okay. All right. So the. The grip looks like a Desert Eagle. The the frame does not. It looks more no, like a HK or a Sig. Like, okay, I don't it think does you know what have I have. Like, really? It does, does have the. But if you look at those bullets, those are like nine like millimeters. Yeah, yeah, I know the bullet's so tiny. That's the part that doesn't make sense. It looks like a nine millimeter. All right, so so from this angle, looking Maybe at the, right the top, <laughs> looking at the one at the top, looks more like a Desert Eagle. From that angle, the the grip does. I I I used I used 
I used to rent the Desert Eagles back in Dallas. So I used to shoot a lot of guns. And like I love that gun. <laughs> I know it yeah. very well. And the Anyways. grip looks more like it. Anyway, I I love the bearing pistols. I'm super excited by the bearing pistols. I'm excited rifles. by more yes. ballistic pistols. Okay. Yes. Because the one that's already that. in the Agreed. game that does look like a SIG is like my favorite. <laughs> Kenny's gun for me. Yeah, it's probably pretty close. <laughs> so the next one is level design. <laughs> Wrong, wrong one. Level design. So lastly, they made a number or of not. new senior hires that will make a positive difference to their out, output in the coming months. Output? They're going to put out more? Yeah. They're <laughs> hiring more people in level design. Here. <laughs> just, just just <laughs> really? The drink, the more out they put. <laughs> Maybe we need to go down there more. Yeah. Time to visit <laughs> California. <laughs> so you just saw a sneak peek of what we did on Saturday. Uh, we had a we 600i regatta. Um, and it was oh, a lot yeah. of fun. It was it was a really good time. Um, we started off at Port Alisar and we tried to get as many 600i's as we could loaded up. And we had in the end about 12 600i's. Started no, we had 15 at one time, but did we? Yeah. Little, but, but at the by the end, yeah, Doc had to leave. A couple kind of lost their way, but yeah. yeah, we had twelve solid. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Wait, we had th- so, we had thirteen. We had thirteen with Doc. Okay. Yeah. No, it was fifteen. Yes. I counted. No, it was thirteen. It was thirteen. It's thirteen. I speed. remember the number thirteen. It was thirteen because I counted. I counted the circle that we made at um, the yeah, the. But we lost somebody then. Yeah. So anyway, so no, we, we left we left um, yeah. Port Alisar because we were getting shot and we quantumed away. We tried to quantum away. It took us a long time. We actually learned that if you have, uh, f- what is it, 14 or 13 ships lined up together trying to group quantum at the same time, the spooling has a hard time doing it, or at least it did on this server. It, it, it breaks hard. The, uh, the that. calculating <laughs> doesn't work, right? Yeah, it didn't want to do all that. It refused. So this was a, a circle yeah. that we made, but it actually took us quite some time to get that circle going. And this is out uh, in the belt. You can see some mining rocks there, not mining rocks, but some asteroids <laughs> out at the Yila belt. <laughs> mining rocks. <laughs> so, so this, so this circle funny. Actually, what corp are you part of? What corp this was actually at one of, one of the, the, the Lagrange points because so, so, so we went to Yella. And we tried, we tried, we tried to create our formation, and then we got harassed by yeah, Evadius. By Ev- Evadius. Um, it was really just trying to be an animal. So, so then we went yeah, to we... one of the Lagrange points, and then we finally got to make our circle. Then we got harassed again, and th- then he snuck aboard um, uh, one of our guys' ships, shot him in the head, solo six hundred, started attacking people, and then we headed over to Hurston, and so. We went down to Lorville area of Hurston, just east of the lake yep. here, and it was beautiful. Well, we did some shots above the tower, too. But how many people we in chat into formation. were there? How many people in chat yeah. were there? Yell yeah, right now, because it was freaking awesome. We had a blast. It was great fun. This we're going to try to start doing these, because we got the best response ever, and we're going to start doing stuff like this a lot. Uh, and so because mo- it was really fun. Many Saturdays, we have, we have a group stream where we're in-game doing stuff. And uh, it's just all kinds of shenanigans, different things every Saturday. And this is one of the things we're trying to do because we're trying to get ready for the 890 <clears throat> jump regatta to have 40 plus 890 jumps. So we'll this see is how kinda, many we can get. Yeah, th- this was kind of short we'll notice. Try. We we put together uh, th- this 600 uh, regatta. So uh, we had 13. So we're going to try to have more. So this Saturday, are, are we doing it this Saturday? Shadow, you're doing your 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 land party. So you, probably, so you probably can't, or you no, can't. I, can, I can be there. Yeah, yeah. I can be there. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I, I, so, I have something this Saturday, so I'm not going to be able to be there. Um, okay. So, uh, Shadow, so maybe you won't can have that giant bowl maybe he, the host. No, I, I actually can't host while I'm at you the You can't host because he's going to be at the land party. So, so yeah, the nothing party, this so Saturday, but, won't be but this the following Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so so the following Saturday, are you guys going to be available earlier in the day to do it on Ooh, yes. uh, EU time? Yeah, we should do that. Because um, we got a good crowd. I can me. Yeah, maybe we'll, have to, maybe we'll have to have a look at it. Like, I've got a several times. I've got some okay. yacht training. 
because I've got to do oh, some boat yacht training. training. Some actual yacht training. Actual, <laughs> well, boat training. Actually, actual boat training. Boat training. So you we'll figure it out. We'll figure out the timing, but we'll, 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 make, we'll make it happen. So, we'll make it happen. Okay, so, so, so this nothing, Saturday is not happening. So, so nothing official this Saturday, but a, a lot of times I, we, we've built a really great community in the Discord around the Yacht Club, just a lot of people who like to hang out. So a lot of times people just get in the Discord and they're chatting. It's like, hey, we're doing some stuff in the verse. Like, hey, let's get together. And just a lot of times during the week, we've get, just got a nice, casual, laid-back community of people who <laughs> like to fly around, drive cyclones, do stuff. So hop in the Discord and you know, make some friends and hang out and have some people to do stuff with. And, you know, we might be doing some stuff this weekend. that's not like an official stream, but we're just hanging out in the verse doing stuff. And then next Saturday, we'll have more of a, uh, of a real event. Well, let's get, yeah, we'll come up with an event that uh, we can actually yeah. do. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we'll, we're planning gonna... it was, was the right plan. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's the top of the hour right now. Do we want to do the Defender giveaway or? Yeah, yeah, let's, so, I let's mean, do that. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're just about let's wrapped up. I mean, we're showing all, well, all the great pictures. So the, uh, before we do that, let's just quickly show a little, uh, a few uh, quick points of the race that were a lot of fun. So this was when we were yeah. going over the, um, so I went over the rules of the race and then uh, Joran explains them a little bit before we actually go and then we start the race. So let's just watch the first little beginning of the race. Yeah, oh, you! Oh, you've got actual film. That's right. Window where you can yeah. go, go through there. Film at eleven. Whoever's side and then through to the right. <laughs> or midnight. Yep. So <laughs> whoever's the first are. one that makes it through <laughs> is wherever you find the winner. Yeah. And there's first, second, right. and third prizes. Yep. First, first, so second, you just third. Have to be, you just have to be within the first, second, and third. Like just, just, yeah. Just, just call out when, when you go, when you go make it through if you don't explode. Okay. <laughs> is everybody <laughs> ready? This is where everything I had needed at once. Because <laughs> I, so. I didn't go okay. through and All right. kill off anything I didn't need. Party Marks can say go! <laughs> yeah, go, 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 go. Hey, I was out for a while. <laughs> you want to win the race, you got to turn go, your shields go. off. Some and you can hear turn everything I, off. <laughs> I, I actually didn't turn that many things off, and I was the first one there. So people had a lot of fun. They were turning off systems. Oh, some people are some people climbing, were climbing out of the atmosphere to get oh, some yeah. some faster yeah, we, speed. We, we, we did We've cheat a little bit there. <laughs> I know Fat me Lou Iron was flying a, a, at least a, two a, others. Hammerhead. It, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Lou, this is skinny Lou. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, hammerhead. yeah, Lou, yeah, Lou was in the hammerhead, so he was kind of um, not participating Killing correctly. Us all. <laughs> well, I think he blew up. I think his six hundred blew up, and he couldn't get another one quickly. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 so we first flew down to Lorville, and we flew about a hundred kilometers yeah, east of the names. city. And we, so we we decided to have with, uh, our. We were going to have a more elaborate <laughs> race. Iron Claws is but going up high. I think he's it didn't really work out that way. So <laughs> we flew from the lake to uh, the Hurston Building. And we flew through the, the underside of the Hurston building. And that was kind of the end of the race. And whoever won that was, uh, who, who won that? That so was, uh, we had three winners. Um, we, well, we had the, replacing. Yeah. Control. Well, we had three winners. Uh, definitely. In his, in his um, yeah, but he's flying ahead one of them was Iron Claws. The other one was yes. uh, second. Delamar. <laughs> second was Iron Claws. Delamar, Delamar was style. Delamar was third. Yeah, That's right. De first was. I thought Delamar, no. Delamar's won. No, who won? No, you know, Delamar the was no flies on has not come up yet. You sure? We will. We will see oh, it as wow. we go. We're going through. We were here, all here, and you'll you'll hear it. Uh, we say it a couple of times. That's what going to feel like. Oh, it really? Seems. Is that Norgeek in front? Uh, yes, yeah, so this, this is going through right now myself. I, Nor oh, that's right. Yeah, Nor yeah, that's right. Norgeek. Oh, yeah, Norgeek won. Yeah, you're right. That's right. No, Norgeek is ahead. Oh, is he here tonight? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going through right now. No, I don't think he's here. Yes, he's easily not here. He's over. Darmars. I just went. No, it was a great race. Yeah, look no, how much no, space no, there is no, here. I mean, there's plenty of room yeah, to do this yeah, yeah. with the 890s. But look how well, tight that race was, was from a far yeah, way away. Yeah, that's the yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, very yeah, tight. Yeah. It was a very tight race. I, I watched it from great. the side. So yeah, yeah, I never was it, Actually, yeah, so, Iron's Claws was like so out North, front for the longest time. So that's me over there on the left side watching all was like I was the first one there, and then I got to turn around and like film y'all. It was pretty cool. Except the film didn't work, and I just got a couple of pictures. <laughs> and then we went uh, up on top. Do I have a picture <laughs> of us going up top? I think so. No? I thought I had one. Really? 
I, do, but I, I can find it. I can find it. Uh, and private picture in Discord or yeah. somewhere. There's one in Discord. Yeah. But yeah, it it was it was it was a great time. Like we, we had uh, a lot of people doing Ooh, doing fun, fun stuff, and we're 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 gonna shoot for having. Okay, so not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Anybody who has a 600, or even if you don't have a 600, a lot of us have multiple 600s. We're going to slot in extras. So we're going to try to have as many 600s as we can, not this Saturday, but the following Saturday. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Check in with us. (laughs) We're going to have a big group event with as many 600s as possible. There we go. This is a nice one. Yeah, that was cool. (laughs) Look, Look at all those ships. And they're yeah, big we ships. Li- we don't have the and ones these are big ships too. lined up, but they looked really cool. Yeah, we had anyway. some nice ones lined up. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Yes, June 8th. June yes, 8th. Has down too. As many 600s <laughs> as we can get the verse, June 8th. We'll have yeah. a big party. Okay, and then uh, this okay. can start a citizen upcoming yeah, bar yeah, citizens. Like, like, yeah, like Lou said, and, and Stim oh, and yeah, I were yeah. talking that uh, I mean, we, we didn't actually experience any slowdowns in frames um, other than we, when we tried to quantum together. That yeah, was the only, the only that was the only terrible. Issue. Yeah, it really was. We, it, it's the only time. So uh, June 2nd, Auckland, New Zealand. Uh, June 8th, Atlanta. June 8th, Abu Dhabi in the Middle East. And June 15th. Oh, that would be a cool one. It is DFW. So these are all upcoming Bar Citizens on the Bar Citizen website, barcitizen.sc. And um, you, you can go to the website and find your local Bar Citizen Discord. Uh, it's linked at the bottom of every page. And it, it uh, so if, if you click the, uh, the, the, pic, the pictures page there, people can see some pictures of what Bar Citizens look like if they've never seen one. Some really cool ones. Where's yeah. the pictures page? Uh, it's linked up at the, at the top. Event photos or something? Uh, gallery. <laughs> gallery, yes. Yeah, that. Hopefully that's working. There Actually, that go. that was not working last time I was there. Yes, there we go. Very nice. So these are all bar citizens around the world. So that really big one, Australia, a few weeks ago, not Australia, Austria. They had like sixty something people in Austria. Nice. Uh, the, the the one with the banner there was in. Uh, uh, Venice? Guess we're gonna have to get a banner for the next Ohio one. Yeah, so yeah, somewhere in, in <laughs> Italy. So Rome. Yes, uh, uh, was that Florence? No, I haven't posted Florence yet. <clears throat> but like all of the world, I mean, from three or four people to twenty people to sixty people, and just at restaurants, just getting together, doing this, just talking about Star Citizen, talking mm-hmm. about other nerdy things. Um, Oh, it's been really cool at some of the bar citizens I've been to where people like start talking about like really esoteric Star Wars lore <laughs> and Star, Star Trek lore and, you know, just really nerdy things outside of Star Citizen because th- this project has brought together so many people with similar interests and personalities. And we're all kind of nerdy people, a lot of not real super social people, but we connect over these things that we're really passionate about that most people aren't that we normally meet in everyday life from the expanse to um, uh, star Wars, to star Trek, to Lord of the Rings, you know, a lot of fantasy stuff, dungeons and dragons. Um, (laughs) Spectre says that he he saw himself there. Yeah. So Calgary bar citizens up there. And a a lot of the guys here, like JJ's from, uh, Australia pub citizens. Um, and this is going on every single weekend around the world. Uh, so that's the new England bar citizen. That's fast cart there. And some of the guys up there in new England, uh, Boston area. Uh, I actually got to go to a Boston, a Boston impromptu bar citizen when I was up there for business last year, I was up there and just, <laughs> so, so if, if people travel around, if you find the local bar citizen, so if you're going to, you know, like Tokyo or London or, uh, Ohio Manchester. or Manchester, you know, anywhere you can find the, the, the discord on the website and pop into the discord and say, Hey, I'm going to be in town on such and such a day. Does yeah. anybody want to get together for a beer? And a great thing to do. That, that happens all the time. It's like, so that's what mm-hmm. I did. 
Jeff's like, hey, I, does anybody want to get together for a beer? So like a half a dozen people showed up in downtown Boston. I, I flew in on Wednesday and I had a meeting on two, on Thursday. So Wednesday night we got together. I got to meet Fa- fast cart for the first time and a bunch of the other guys in Boston. And, uh, it was awesome. It, it was just great. And so I, there's actually a lot of citizens that travel a lot for work and they do this every time they travel, they'll get, they'll find the discord for wherever it is that they're going sure. and they'll find some people. And, um, at actually, up there a little before this, there was a picture of the Hong Kong bar citizen. So Jeremiah Lee, who is the lead character artist for, for CIG, uh, he's re- originally from Hong Kong. And I, I saw in his, I, he was tweeting that he was on his way home to visit family in Hong Kong and he was stuck in Beijing um, or, or somewhere in China. Uh, on, on a connecting flight, he was overnight, and it's like, it's like, hey, you got to hook up with the Hong Kong bar citizen guys. It's like, holy shit, I didn't know there was a Hong Kong bar citizen. I was like, yeah, man. And so I, I hooked up with with Joseph, who's the organizer for Hong Kong bar citizen. I had helped them get going and got them in touch with each other, and they they got together and they had a, a Hong Kong bar citizen, and just totally impromptu because Jeremiah Lee was going to Hong Kong, and it's like, hey, I these guys are are available, and they had like six or eight people will get together. It was amazing. Mm, that's so, what it's all about. Yeah. Drink just, and talk I, about spaceships. <laughs> yeah. And just <laughs> ma- 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 making real world friendships and meeting people in the real world offline outside of this, this environment because of this thing that we connect over. And sure. it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it, it's changed my life. It's created all of this. Yes. Quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so so what what else do we have a giveaway well, or well we've done the two giveaways right so no. we did yep. a big one we did give we away the defender one? no we didn't do the defender we have did we push on no. past it no okay sweet jesus we, we, where have you been bob <laughs> jordan jordan was just talking about bar citizen forever it's like just yeah me. okay but <laughs> before we do that let's quickly talk about the origin jump works Oh, okay, because there's one thing we need to mention in here. Which? What? Which was? This is actually... Out, check, check on audio. Make sure it's this, working okay. I'm okay, so, looking yeah. at you guys in the... oh, okay so, so this was a new lore post. Yeah, uh, An updated lore post. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually updated. from... Two- yes, thank you. So this was from 2014. So this was a mm-hmm. new post. That was a recycle post from 2013, no, 13, 14, 13, 14, 2014. 2014. And so they rewrote some of it. And there was actually some things that were incorporated from another lore post later in 2014 or 15 about a leak about something called Goldfinch, which we don't know what that was. But the 890 jump. Ton of speculation. Uh, But I think think the 890 jump was actually out. Chronologically, uh, when, uh, when it should have happened. been. This is true, I, but right, the goldfinch was the, the twenty nine forty four. But but the eight ninety was already it, out, so. which was the eight ninety. We jump. would love to get to the bottom of the thing. All right, so there was something. There's something leaked about <laughs> goldfinch, and the six hundred I was actually talked about back in two thousand and fourteen. Um, yeah. Also, the the two hundred series was talked about before the one hundred series was. Another good point. So. So the 200 series was talked about in 2014. The 100 series was introduced in 2007, 18, last year, 2018. Yes. Um, the 200 series never Late. came out. We never heard what Goldfinch was. Um, and we all really want a 400 series. It was the teaser for the 890 Jump concept sale was the Goldfinch thing. Yeah, there's a lot of speculation behind that. There's no we speculation. That's it. what it was. No, well, they already don't talk, they already you don't know for it. sure. Lore-wise. Mm-hmm. In this, but that's, I the, that's what it was. But I thought the original Where? post talked about it before it came out, right? I know. Where this post right, came out after the eight ninety jump, post, after the eight ninety jump um, original concept sale. Where? Did it, oh, okay, so it came out after. Came out the after. No, the it was a teaser the, for the ship, the upcoming ship for Citizen Con, which was the eight ninety jump. Just saying. What? I don't I'm, see the eight nineties as the gold. I want to see the connection. So, That's all. So talk about the goldfinch, but yeah. they also talked about they actually said the 890 jump in the post. Yeah, oh, but the, that was already being sold. Yeah, fair enough. 
that that post was after the A90 jump had been sold. But Either way, this became a huge heated but topic. It, but how is it? The, how, Yacht Club channel. the reference <laughs> to Goldfish came in like July of 2014 in one of the articles. Oh, so there was something before this that mentioned the Goldfinch before right. this. Right. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so the, this this is the great thing about having original backers that were here from the very beginning because I didn't start until late 2015. So this is all before my time. So, <laughs> yeah, a I lot of a fun. lot of uh, a lot of old interesting news back then that was really exciting at the time. It's very old and recycled. So it's definitely giveaway time. Yes, uh, and we're, we're 15 minutes late for it, so apologies. But oh, uh, give okay. you gave people 15 more minutes to to get involved. Ship me to get in. Exclamation ship point! Me. Ship me! Exclamation point! Ship me for a Banu Defender original LTI concept ship. And not already. Uh, if and you need to be in the Discord. To best should message Stim if you win, and you should be in there anyway because we're. Always talking about spaceships every day, all day, all the time, and doing and doing stuff in the verse, and posting screenshots, yes. yeah. and posting screenshots, and posting yes. screenshots. Yes, we, we have a lot of fun. Lots of screenshots, yeah. <laughs> lots of chatting in the screenshot, and so a lot of knowledgeable just... people as well that, oh, that, wow. that can answer questions if you're new and just hang out. It's good times. Yeah, missed, yes. missed so, a few follows by the way. One Nutello three. and oh. Oh, oh yeah! Well, thank you. I can't read Thanks the other one. The, yeah, I can tell the other one. Garth the hand. Garth the hand. <laughs> Garth the hand. <laughs> well, come on. Yeah, we were deep in spaceship talk. So sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do this. Roll it. Roll it. Ready? Guess so. Lou, you're like three hours oh, behind us. How's, how's tomorrow going to suck? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't win it. <laughs> what? How did I, I oh, didn't enter. What? How do you, what the hell? <laughs> oh, God. Rigged. I didn't enter it. Rigged. Who won? I must have. Rigged. Shadow well, Rigged. You know what Shadow? probably happened? I, I hit bang, ship me. <laughs> A reroll. Do we have? Okay. All right. Can we, we roll we, we without re-roll. people everybody having to enter? All right, everybody, re-enter, every, re-enter, re-enter, re-enter. Uh, re-enter. Wait, don't re-enter yet. Wait till he says. All right, when, all right. when, oh. when, when I can re-roll. Oh, okay. Re-roll. He can't re-roll. Okay, okay. So can re-roll. re-roll. Okay, okay, great. All right, so, all right, we're re-rolling, re-rolling. re-rolling? All right. So, all right. That's hilarious. Right. I mean, who, 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 who does who does a drum roll? Drum roll, please. <laughs> Good drum roll. Good drum roll. That's 2016. More, more yeah. cowbell. Alex won. Yeah. More cowbell. Hey. Zelix. 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 Yeah, it's Zelix. Is Zelix in chat? Are you in chat, Zelix? Yes. Zelix? Is he here? Are you here? Are you here? Yeah, you have to respond. Sure so Zelix? Are you three? You have to Are respond. You you, to not only be in chat, but you also have to get into the you Discord. Be, yeah, and yeah. Message actually... And, and message is he him. here though yeah. where's zelix <laughs> zelix you've got two minutes to message or we're re-rolling oh, i was gonna say two minutes one minute but okay zelix zelix okay there he is there's hey! zelix hey! zelix congratulations <laughs> ben Fender. all right zelix get in the discord zelix get in yes. the discord yeah and we'll get you your banner defender <clears throat> and that's good the banner defender is oh, actually going to come from dr murray so uh, message him in the Discord, and otherwise I have Drexages, uh, uh, Drexes, Drex, Drex, his um, <laughs> game glass key. So very yeah. exciting. Oh, Drex Rage, yeah, yeah Drex Rage, yeah, Dre- yeah Drex is uh, messaging you, but we also need Ze- uh, Zelix in the Discord so he can also message you. So make that happen. Welcome, Rootfinger, who is it, whoever that is. When? Uh, oh, okay. Yes. There's a, yeah. There's a lot of people showed up there. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we've, we've got a, we've got a very active discord because we're a fun, active star citizen community in ourselves. Just doing stuff. Are we up to questions now? Oh we shit. Are. We have we're questions. Holy shit. We've got questions. Do we? Yeah, we've got six questions. Yes, yes we six. do. Yeah. We do. Let's do them. 
and we Do have it. one from Zylo. So I figure we let's we'd say that let's, one. Let's, like, out. let's skip yeah. that he one. Showed let's, up. Let's, let's like let's Doc answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> let's let so, Doc answer the question. Really, thanks for the follow. Zylo, one, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Zylo asks, now that some details are out about CitizenCon, who's going? Ooh. He asked, that last, he asked that last week, too. He did? Yeah. yeah. He keeps yeah. asking us about it. He keeps I'm asking it all the time. if he's got some kind of if, is thing. He, is, he here is he even still here? <laughs> I want to know who's in so, there. He's hiding in there. Yeah, who's so, paying him? I'm going. Joran's going. Um, <laughs> Shadowkin's going. going. And uh, I, Dr. Murray, are you going to go? No, I can't are go. You oh, man. Oh. Oh, oh, no, that's right. Dr. Murray has a big chef event right before. So, uh, you it's it's terrible <clears throat> terrible timing for people in the U.S. because it's the weekend before Thanksgiving and Dr. Murray has a big chef event the weekend before Thanksgiving, which is going to be pretty cool. But um, so provided I have a job and I'm doing well in the next couple of months, <laughs> I'm going to CitizenCon and volunteering. Uh, Shadow and I'm STEM as well. CitizenCon, nice. we're all going to be volunteers volunteer. because we are even drinking. <laughs> that didn't keep you from drinking last year. Well, right. Okay, but it can't. No, it did because I could have drank a lot more. <laughs> it's like you you drank and broke your ankle. Well, so, yeah. So you know. So hope hopefully we'll see lots of y'all, uh, lots of our European friends, which are probably not on right now, not right now because it is like three three or four or five a.m. out there. Yes. In the U. But wait. yes. Super Looking forward soon. to another amazing Citizen Con. Austin was absolutely an incredible experience. Fifteen hundred passionate yeah, nerds. It really was. Yeah. And, Great and time. So many people, so many people from CIG getting to hang out with all the devs and just it was just incredible. Yeah, you were just running into them Energy. everywhere. It was great. Yeah. Energy was awesome. Yeah, they were really, really <laughs> interactive with the community all over the place. I, I, I was walking around outside in the in the 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 the, the table area around the food trucks, and I got to, to I run into Chris Smith and talked about the three hundred series, uh, which was awesome. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Like so, yeah, next question. I heard this loud yell. Yeah, who wants Who wants to handle the first question? Shadow. Doc. So, doc. 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 Right. doc you know the questions. Okay. It it seems that sometimes when a ship design is said to come from the European team, it tends to grow larger and have redundancy or its components grow. Do you believe this is an aspect of the team or simply coincidence? And the size shifts are necessitated by the finalizing of component sizing and placement. It's, hmm. it's more of the latter than than the former. Yes. That this is <clears throat> from component sizing, from ship size metrics as well. Mm-hmm. So how big they need to be for allow people to well, walk through shoulder to shoulder. What wall wall thicknesses? Um, yeah, yeah lot, lot, lots of things to the metrics because the 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 older multi crew ships were only exterior um, concepts that didn't actually take in, into account all the interior spaces for every room, every hallway, um, storage spaces, component areas. Um, and how thick the walls would have to be. Yeah. Um, so, I, <laughs> and there, there's always been, yes, I mean, there's always been this thing. It's like, oh, the UK is doing it, so it's got to get bigger. It's like, well, the UK does multi crew ships, and multi crew crew ships, they were concepted years ago before they were done in three dimensions. Yeah, you know, before it the really, metrics were finalized. It, it, it exactly. So, um, all the older ships before a couple of years ago that weren't already pre three dimensionally rendered with the metrics um they're all going to grow um except 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 the carrick mm. so the carrick the magic bad word was 100 was <laughs> it, 123 it meters grow. it grew to 170 me- 100 no 160 meters and then yeah. it came back down to maybe 130 meters 125 uh, <laughs> We we don't we don't know exactly yet. Yeah, they said it was one twenty five now. Did they? So, okay, so, <laughs> yeah. So, Doctor Murray. So it, they 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 managed Eric to keep, grow keep it shows. Con- condensed. So <laughs> cargo was nerfed, but all the all of its other features and functions and components were not. It's still going to be the amazing ship that it was always meant to be. Right. So so I guess kind of getting back to the question: Do we do we think that ships are still going to grow? Um, like I was talking earlier with someone about the Genesis Starliner and that ship, it's huge. It's, it's going to have to grow because it's supposed to carry what, like 80, 
80 passengers 40, and 45. Yeah. Well, yeah. you've seen okay. a modern airliner. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right, right. And so, you know, you've got and, to avoid collisions and, when people are walking around. And space. And, yeah, and lots yeah. of space, yeah. lots of space inside. Because it, it's not going to be like an airliner where people are sitting for three or four hours, not getting up except to go to the bathroom. Mm. It's going to be more getting up, moving around a little bit. It's 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 definitely going to be more of a of a little spacious ship. So, And, and if, if we're talking about multiple systems, people might seats. log out in the passenger seats. So are they um, going to recline yeah. and be beds? Or are, you yeah, know, there's a lot of speculation class, with spec- that ship. Business though. class and cattle the, class. There is. Well, back to the question, though. I mean, the actual question states is the, the that are building the ships, the, the European versus the U.S. base. It's because right. we measure everything in feet and they measure everything in meters. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's simply it's because the, these the are torque wrench uh, issue. These ships that have grown <laughs> have all been from the older concept days. Oh. So, the, the new concept ships like the the Corsair and the other right. ships, like like the uh, well, the six hundred I grew, but and they said that it was always going to be that size. So it's hard to say. Yeah. It was from the from the holo model when 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 um, I think Teller scaled it from the holo model, and it was it was it was yeah, the current it, size. So that it was yeah. ninety four meters. And... Yeah, it was it was the original brochure. I think that said it was sixty meters, something like that, which is just um, you know a lot of ships grow just because of the what needs to fit inside of them, and that's yep. kind of where I'm, I mean, there's just they were just underestimated to begin with. Hmm. Yep, a lot of hand wavium. <laughs> the nice thing about the Carrick is that they were able to um, have the remove some of the, the the bulkhead components of it to actually make it mm-hmm. fit within the original size. That was nice. Right. Oh no, I'm out of water. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> we don't have God. long to go here. No. You better hurry up. In that thing. So the <laughs> next. He's going to dehydrate any moment. Uh, JJ2078 uh, asks, I have five UEC. <laughs> I have access Great to a question. prospector, a freelancer max, a 600i, and a starfarer. I want to get enough for trading. What do you recommend? With five UEC? Let's start assume mining. that's 5,000 UEC. <laughs> no, he means five UEC. He needs to start mining. No, yeah, truly. Yeah. He needs to mine. No. That's the, the only thing he can oh, do. You need oh, to get some actually, tier zero actually, materials. No. You, you you can run missions in a freelancer oh, max, yeah, true, okay. and you can make very good money running mission freelancer yeah, max. Yeah. It takes like thirty minutes to make twenty k UEC in a prospect. Yeah, but does he, it, ha- does yeah, he yeah, have no, a full yeah. hold of only, fuel? Only if, is you're, the question. only if you're in the right, only if you're in the right place at the right time. I've tried and mining you in don't three point five. Rock in front of you. And, no, <laughs> even if you don't, if you don't right blow it up, you, yeah. and, and finding a rock <laughs> that has enough value. Is really crappy it's not right that now. Hard. It sucks. Yeah, it, not... No, it sucks. Well... I've spent several hours doing it in three point five, enough to test it out, and so it depends on where you are. So if if you Either go way, to certain areas, yes, you, you can. But you need but, to know what you're doing so, as well. It's it's just like uh, yeah, right. buying low and so, selling high. You need to yeah, find you, out. You have where to know where to go, to go and rocks. what to do. Right. And so the mining laser. But yeah. but <laughs> it, it, you you don't know it. you don't have to have any of that specialized information to go and pick up a box a sure, and sure. deliver the box and you can make seven thousand UEC in twenty they minutes. They bump them that much? Yeah. Oh, well, you can, I didn't you, know they were worth that much. Now you yeah, you can make you, you, yeah. you 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 oh, can make from from three to eight thousand UEC running a box. Yeah, keep Let's keep do that. Yeah. you have options. Uh-huh. Run a box. You have options. Have it's fun with easy, it. Easy, easiest, right? best thing. Yes. You, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll pay you to shoot stem. Yeah, so, so, so I, so I, I, I talked to somebody who, who <laughs> they, they, they literally started. Or maybe Aurora, he'll pay you to shoot me. <laughs> they literally started in an Aurora, and they, and they ran double it. They, they ran box missions and bounty hunter, and then bounty hunter missions, um, <laughs> and they made they made enough money to upgrade to a cutlass, and then they were they were running missions. And they were upgrading. They literally made a, over a million UEC. I mean, these guys were just grinding, grinding, grinding. I mean, it takes a while, but you can do it. So, I mean, you can technically make 20,000 20, UEC an hour by running missions. And, you know, 
it takes a lot of missions, but you know, you get up to a million, one point two million, and get a cut list, and then you can start running cargo. You make some more money, you start running case, cargo. You have so, options. Yes, you have there a are lot options. Of options. Run yes, missions. Yeah, awesome. run missions. All right, run missions. And, next yep. question. So, next question. Any specification, or sorry, any speculation on when the Polaris will be added to the roadmap, and oh, if the Polaris never. will change in design at all? Soon, Did, we hope. 20, 20, 2025. 2021. 2021. 2025. I don't know. I don't think it'll be a long one. Why do you guys think it's going to be so far out? Well, 2021. Just because they're already I'm, saying 3 9. I mean, look at the roadmap. It's already almost a year out. And then yeah, yeah but, but when the roadmap that's why. comes out, right, it's so, like that's the, that's the time it's going to be released. I mean, it could be in 3.10 yeah, or 4.0 I mean, or whatever it is. Zero mention. Zero. Yeah, there's been no mention of it. And the style guide for your RSI has already been kind of pretty much ironed out. So, yeah. Yeah, I I, so I think that the earliest that we're going to see it is late next year, 2020. What do you um, think? But probably it's 2021. Just, yeah. yeah. Where, probably 2021. Chat, what do you think? 2025. No. So, you, so Shadow, yeah. you're saying because uh, the style guide, once the style guide is done, they just don't pump out ships? No, no, it's, 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 it, it, it is. It is. To, it's though. it's much faster yeah. too. Yeah. No, so it is. Right, right. it is. I mean, I, and I don't so know. The, and they've got twenty twenty one sounds like I could see it being either late twenty twenty or twenty twenty before the pioneer. He's right. Yeah. This, this, <laughs> well, yeah. Of course, really before the pioneer. <laughs> Definitely yeah. before the endeavor. Yes, before the endeavor. <laughs> 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 Okay, and we, in, they, they, they they one last totally question bad. in chat, and that is, what do you guys think the Origin 200 will be? And they nothing. say it was mentioned in the lower post. Was it mentioned in the lower post? Get, what could you possibly they, 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 The Origin 200 was mentioned before there was ever, ever an Origin <laughs> 100, so the Origin 100 came out, the Origin 200 will never come out. Yeah, oh, I don't think there's think any room for it. No, it'll come out eventually, but it'll be Maybe. probably no. after the game's released in the yeah twenty twenty five. When do you think the Origin no, four hundred will come out? There's never. I think soon. that'll come out sooner than never. soon. Sooner? <laughs> no, I, before I, the players. I, I Origin needs I, Origin I, needs I, a competitor for the. I, Phoenix, I think we might the, get. A, I think we might get an Origin four hundred concept sale this year. Oh my god! Well, you hear her. Well, you if it's going to happen, first? it's going to happen now. Yeah. It's, it's it's th well, this let's, let's this this is the now, or but... the origin time, the origin celebration, the time of the origin. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't get my hopes up. You know what I want is yeah. is the origin complete pack to come back. That's, you know what I want. Uh, I I'm I sure want. that's going to come come no, back. Yes, what I want when the when the 890 goes on sale again next month. If uh, the I origin complete pack will go on sale again. I think I think anybody who wants an 890 should have the so opportunity wait. to get one. So wait, the Origin Complete Pack, does that give you LTI on their 890? It does. Yeah. It's the only way it, to get LTI on an 890. It is the only one it's the only potential way <laughs> we can only, get LTI on 890. It's the only way to get LTI on What 890? do we think the price no, is? No, it's not this. You can get the latest pack. It's got an 890 in it. The, the oh. Provictus pack has oh, an 890 in it. Okay, for... For fifty fifteen thousand dollars, yeah, jump change, or so. or for twenty or for twenty four hundred dollar origin pack, <laughs> which include, which which includes a lot of other ships, including two six hundreds, all the three hundreds, all the one hundreds, all the X ones, um, the M fifty, and the rover, is is worth it. Either way, yeah. Yeah, it's because yeah. I've got two. I got the thirty-six month and the forty-eight month, eight nineties. I want an LTI. Well, you're gonna have to three wait. Three would probably be a good number. <laughs> yeah, Is that it? Three six seven. <laughs> uh, we should look at someone to raid. Yeah, let's get so our raid Let's Go find. Let's go find right them. You're cute. Silex, so make sure that you're in the make sure you're in the Discord and that you mesh, uh, message Sim Citizen in the Discord or Dr. Murray. He's already got it. Oh, already. Oh, was he oh. Rude Finger? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So we're gonna raid Uber Nerd. Anything else? Anything else? Want to yell? 
before we leave. What did we cover? We covered everything. Yeah, Clearly, I it. drank enough. Yeah, we, clearly we Jordan is awesome with white it wine. A, it was a busy, busy week. <laughs> <laughs> Finished our bottle of uh, bottle of white wine this you evening. You did good job. It was well tasty. Done. All that white wine. Yes, it's very tasty. Thank you, everyone. Very Thank you for tasty. the great tips, the donations, thanks, the guys. bits. Thanks, you guys thanks for rock. everything. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. It was a great awesome time. Awesome band new defender giveaway and a bunch yeah. of stuff. Yeah, we are always going to keep fantastic. doing this. So the more we get in, the more you guys get. Yep. We love it. Bye, so, everybody. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for sharing the love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zelix, great job on the banding, man. Just, I hope you just enjoy. love hanging out with y'all. It's a good Make time. Make sure you send All the right. screenshots when they so, actually throw in game. So we're rating. <laughs> yep. We're rating. Yes. Uber nerd. <laughs>